Okay, we might be live now. Let's see if I can hear myself. I'm gonna see if I can hear myself as I usually do. Oh, I'm gonna see Here's if I, I can hear myself. I can hear myself. I just did. I just did. Hello, everyone. Hello to Sarah Joy and Lizzie are moderating. Mark Helton is moderating. All right. Thank you for moderating. Kenneth Colton, Gigi, Paula Faust, Vince Savard. Savard. Ty William, Williams and Pippi Long. Apocalypse, Melissa McQueen. Arizona, uh, Wolf Gaming, Rick Hoppy. April Coco. Arizona Jumper, Bethany O. Coleman Ruggles. Lou Hastings, Rosemary Randolph, Timbers 27, Nicholas Guerrero. Glad Rue. Glad Rue is here. Ron Ron. Julie Huff, Mr. Showtime. A. Grush. Mercy K. Oh, I should wait a second, you know, because people say, Arizona Jumper says, ad always cuts off the beginning of the stream for me. Yeah, you know what I'll do is next time, next time I come live, you know what I should do? I really should do that when I go live. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Because I know the, sometimes ads run at the start. So what I can do is I can start the stream with the graphic and then wait like 15 seconds or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to do that next time. I used to do that. I can start the stream with this graphic right here. See, I'll just do that. I'll just do that. Kimberly was watching the Agenda Free TV 2 stream. Thanks for watching. Erica is there. Jake got his first shot yesterday. All right. Ben Huffstetler is there. Congratulations, Jake. Darth Tater is there. Kariba Gianni. I like seeing some new names in the chat. I'm seeing some new names in the chat. Uh, we got Katie616. We got Brainy Janie. Aries Pjork. Jennifer Tower. Hey, Kangaroo Island TV, I have your package here. I'm glad you're here, Stan. Stan, I can open your package. We can open Stan's package tonight because Stan is here. Glowworm Fanatic is here. Ruben Urban is moderating. Thank you, Ruben. Yeah, I, I'll do that. Also, as Darth Tater points out, by the time people get the Discord notification and they get here, it's a little late. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta, I gotta like wait a few seconds before starting the stream. I'll put the graphic up so people can get here. Uh, Budget girl is here. Daro gets first shot tomorrow. Very nice. Fresh cut critch. His arm was a bit sore today. A little swollen, but I'm good now. Paula Faust is here. Sue Baker is here from Hawaii. All right. Sue Baker is here. Sharon Solomon is here. Kathy Calm. Yeah, I think Kathy Calm, Kathy Griffin somehow got YouTube to fix them hiding the streams. Brendan Brady is here. Ramanjeet is here. No, Ramanjeet, I don't, I, I don't, the, the demand for YouTube membership doesn't seem to be there. We've discussed it with people and I don't think the fans want it. Lizzie got her shot Saturday and she's a nervous wreck. Why? It was Saturday. Oh, she gets her Saturday. You're going to be fine. If you have some side effects, it's all for the good. It's, it's worth it. Uh, Barbara Smith is moderating. Hey, Barbara. Barbara says, I truly wish I had enough internet to watch y'all, but it's been gone for almost a year now. Barbara doesn't have good internet there. I'm sorry about that, Barbara. Barbara, aren't you somewhere like kind of out of the way, I think, maybe? True Sleuth is here. Edward Kim is here. Nof Kez. Nof Kez is here. Barbara says she lives in the middle of the desert in Arizona. Well, there you go. Jamie says, got my second shot Monday and only had a sore arm. Very nice. Jamie Houston. Edward, the YouTube thought you said something naughty because you because you had a typo. I'll allow it. <laughs> the moderator got it. Yeah, 
Edward just had a typo. Andrea Powell getting first shot Saturday. All right, Amber E is here. Pat's fan is here. Tim M is here. Renee M said got first shot today. No soreness. This is I mean, I can tell I can tell more people are getting the shots in America because just among our viewership, a lot of people are saying they're getting their shots these week this week. Katie girl. No, uh, you heard wrong, Katie girl. Again, somebody else was saying this. It's not that the shots are effective for only six months. The report is that the shots, the Moderna and the Pfizer at least, are effective for at least six months. At least, not only. At least, not only. People keep saying it's only. No, it's not only. It's at least six months. They don't know how long the shots will last because the only way to know how long the shots will last is to actually observe people. So that's why it's not known if they'll last longer than six months yet. They just have to look and see what happens. But it's at least six months. Uh, hey, Patrick Davis, who says the Lookner Learn stream. I don't even know what that means, Patrick. But thank you. Hey, Patrick, I really appreciate all your support. Thank you, Patrick. Very much appreciated. Patrick Davis. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so it's at least at least six months. Katie Girl is here. Darth Tater has two more weeks until second shot. Rick is glad so many people are getting vaccinated. Me too. Oh, it means uh, Sarah Joy says me means we learn something every stream. A lot of useless stuff. Uh, Mr. Showtime says, me and my mom are getting our shots at the same time. I have uh, uh, 12 days, 12 days until I'm fully vaccinated because my, my second shot was Monday. So I have 12 days. Kavit says, there may be booster shots. There may be booster shots. Excuse me. Lee Field is here. Melissa McQueen is scheduled for April 15th. Ron, Ron, I, you're getting ahead of me. I will talk about it. I have it on the list of things to talk about. Apocalypse says, I'm Canadian in first shot next week. It's going to be very different, I know, in the U.S. And like, in like, definitely, well, definitely in two months, but maybe even a month. But think about like two months from now, how many more people will have gotten vaccinated. It'll be a lot. Because, like, you know, every day it's like they've sometimes gotten up to 4 million shots a day, which roughly speaking is like 2, people, two million people getting fully vaccinated. So, like, if, 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 roughly two, if roughly 2 million people get fully vaccinated a day, if you take 60 days, that's 120 million people, which is like half the adult population. So in like, in like two months... I think pretty much everyone who wanted to get vaccinated in the U.S. adult-wise will be vaccinated. Michelle Ryan says, me and my sons are getting first shot in the shot first thing in the morning. All right, awesome. Uh, Tyler says, starting tomorrow in Oklahoma. Shots are open to anyone that doesn't live in the state of Oklahoma. Is that true? Is that really true? I hadn't heard that. I'd be interested in a link if you want to send me one. I have no idea if that's true. Yes, Oklahoma to open vaccine appointments to non-residents. How about that? That's interesting. It is true. Look at this. Oklahoma's News 4. Oklahoma to open COVID vaccine appointments to non-residents. The Oklahoma State Department of Health said it will remove the Oklahoma residency requirement. Wow. I guess they have extra supply there. Wow. 
Wow. Maybe there's maybe there's maybe there's a lack of demand. That's interesting. I hadn't seen that before. Let me see if I can find them on Twitter. OSDH Twitter. That's Oklahoma's News 4. They must have a lot of supply. Sorry, I'm just trying to find where they posted about it. Uh, news for Oklahoma Twitter. I want to post that on Twitter. That's really interesting. I'm trying to find that story on their Twitter. Yes. Jessica Bruno. Oklahoma will now be opening up vaccinations to residents and other from other states. I'd kind of like to post the article though. Effective April 8th. That's really interesting. Rick says, thank you, Oklahoma. I'm just trying to find a tweet about it that, that like, because that says healthy Oklahoma. I just retweeted that. I retweeted her tweet. There you go. Okay. Hey, that's really interesting. I, I think that might be the first state to do this. All right, sorry. I was just focused on that. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. Uh, Nosy Rosie is here. Mr. Showtime says, as soon as I'm fully vaxxed, golden corral for me. Apocalypse says, I may need to go to USA for my second shot. April says people in Oklahoma aren't taking it. I don't know. I, I don't know what the deal is. I, I don't know if it's because they have lack of demand. <laughs> I wonder if it's that. If it's that. I don't know. Glad Aru says I had no symptoms with J and J, not even a sore arm. Oh, did Kangaroo Island say something? Where is Kangaroo Island? Oh, by the way, thank you, Barbara Smith. Barbara says SARS-CoV-1 has 13 years. 13 years meaning what? Do you mean the vaccine lasts 13 years for a different coronavirus? I don't, there, isn't, there isn't a vaccine for SARS-CoV-1. I don't think. I don't think they ever made one. That was the original SARS. I don't think there is a vaccine for the original SARS. Maybe, Barbara, I might be misinterpreting your, your post. But th first of all, thank you, Barbara. I appreciate that, Barbara Smith. Maybe I was misreading your post. There's the original SARS, which uh, became prominent in the early 2000s. And I, th yeah, uh, Barbara, Barbara Smith says no vaccine for SARS-1. You had said SARS 13 years. Okay. Oh, Kangaroo Island is here. Yeah, Kangaroo Island, I usually wait until a little later to open the packages. If you have to leave, let me know, and then I can open it earlier because you're watching. So, if, But if you're going to stick around, I'll wait because I normally wait. Edward wants the Johnson and Johnson. Linda Belk is here. Linda, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, Linda? Linda had some side effects from the vaccine. By the way, I am two days post vaccine. Uh, I really have no side effects today. I had, I have a very slight, I had a very slight pain in my arm, 
little bit tender my arm before I got the shot. That's the only thing. And then I had a little bit of a headache this afternoon, but I think it's because I did. I think what happens, I will get a headache if I don't eat on time. And I think what happened is I ate late today because I got up and I had a little breakfast and then I did the live stream. And by the time I ate, I was like super hungry. I, I will get a headache if I'm super hungry and I wait too long to eat. So I think that's why I got my headache because it's not even that. I ate and it's a little better now. So I don't think I actually don't think that is uh, that's not vaccine related. That's me eating late related. So, yeah, I basically have no side effects today. I have the, the little arm thing. That's it. Ben says, I hope Sharon Heberling is okay. Yeah, I got an update about Sharon. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, I got a nice update from, a nice note from Joanna, uh, Sharon's daughter. And Joanna has told me before it's okay to share, to share Sharon's condition. So she said, um, Sharon's right leg, uh, her, her right leg muscles are starting to contract some from the lack of a hip joint still unable to stand or get around on her own. She gets round the clock antibiotics, IV antibiotics that are making her extremely sick. That sucks. And she puts and she puts on the streams. She has a long rocky road ahead of her uh, away to recovery. So, we all hope Sharon feels better. Sharon had a hip replacement and then they had it got infected. They have to take they had to take their hip replacement out. So now she has no hip, I guess, which sucks. So, let's all wish Sharon Heberling well. She sometimes pops up in the chat. Oh, I also want to post the address for her again. Um, I know some people had asked about sending Sharon stuff, and then her daughter gave me an address where you can send something to her. So actually, let me post that again. I'm, I'm posting this right now. That's Sharon. You can cut and paste that and save it. That's Sharon's uh, mailing address. Her daughter has, like, a box that you can mail stuff to. So... If anybody wants to, like, send her a card or whatever, that's, that's, I just posted it right there. And thanks to anyone who sent to sent her anything. Uh, Sarah Joy, I, I don't think she's at the hospital anymore. I, she's doing rehab. I don't know if she's home or in the rehab facility, but she's not at the hospital. But that is the address. Oh, yeah, there's a hospital and a rehab center in that that address is right across the street from the rehab center no april i couldn't wave to her because she wasn't feeling well kangaroo island tv says i'm on vacation okay that's good i'm guessing she'll read the chat too so that's happening No, the address I gave you was not for the hospital. The address is for a, a P.O. box across the street from the hospital and rehab center. It's a P.O. box address. Sorry, Sarah Joy, for the confusion. Darren Markley is here. Okay. Um, let's see here. Hang on, folks. Okay. Hey, thanks, April Coco. I appreciate that, April Coco. Thanks so much for the thumbs up sticker. Thank you, April Coco. Much appreciated. Thank you. MKZ says, I sent Sharon something. That's very nice of you. Um, so if you missed it, we did do a stream on Agenda Free TV 2 today. We hadn't done one of these in a while. We did a News Roundup stream. See News Roundup. That was our first one since two weeks ago. When was the one? The one before that was, what was the date on that one? March 18th. We hadn't done a news roundup since March 18th. Boy, that's like 20, three weeks. We hadn't done a news roundup in three weeks. So we did one today. That's on Agenda Free TV too. So make sure you're subscribed to that. 
Maybe some of you don't know there's Agenda Free TV too. Judy, thanks, Judy. Yeah, a number of you were there. We took a lot of your comments on the air. Hey, thanks for Ruben. Oh, Sarah's going to post the channels thing. The weather here is so nice. I'm so happy with the weather here. This is the best it's been since I got here. Thanks, Amber. Amber liked the news roundup. Um, so, you know, I, I moved here in November, and the weather's been good, but it's, you know, it's been like winter. Uh, it's basically become, it's become like what everywhere else is summer, is like here now, like already. Um, the last couple days have been so nice and nice at night. So it's 71 degrees out right now. Hold on. Let me show you. It's 71 degrees out right now. And it's just... Also, it's nicer because the sun's a little higher in the sky, you know, because it's, um, it's a little later in the year. Um, but it's just, it's so nice out, and it's warm, and it's just, it just feels, it feels like summer. But it's the beginning of April. I can't believe it. And look at the forecast. Look at this forecast. I mean, this is why I moved here. This, this is why I moved here. This. So I could enjoy this. Even in Atlanta, this is like, you only get this like in the summer. But this is April 7th. I mean, it's fantastic. So I am just, I am overjoyed. I am overjoyed with the weather. It's just, this is why I moved here. So much happier. Ruben says, that is why I stayed here after graduating from college. I mean, literally, it's so nice out. Like today, I didn't get to go out today because I, I did the live stream and then I like, cooked myself food and stuff. But like the weather's so nice, I always want to go around and walk. That's what I did yesterday. I just went out and took a walk. It was so nice out. Have an outside show. Maybe Mad Dog. Mad Dog. I've done some outside streams. We might do an, do another one. Maybe when like you know a few weeks when more people are vaccinated. It'll be easier to do that when I when I, you know when it's when it's not pandemic land. You know. Also, if I'm out and about where people are, I, I prefer to wear a mask, and so you know that that gets a little in the way too. So so you know we'll do it. Um, we'll do more of outside stuff. I think when more people are vaccinated. Ben says, Florida weather is awesome and relaxing. But this is like the last few days, it's been, like, I feel like it's been nicer than at any point I've been here. It's just been super nice. Also, you know, it gets dark later. That's really good. Um, and the sun's higher. But a combination of, it's, it's really felt like, I'm always comparing things to Boston weather because I grew up in Boston. And this feels like summer in Boston. It's just great. It is just great. Thanks, Apocalypse, for your kind words. Okay, so that's that's what's uh, uh yeah well, you know when the pandemic is when when it's all behind us or as much as possible behind us I I, I can do a stream on the roof I I can't really do it right now, but when people are vaccinated and all that I'll do a stream on the roof. Because there is a roof here. It's nice. Nice view and everything. But I, I can't do a stream there right now. Rusty Craig is here. Jennifer Tower says, we're supposed to here, be here, be 60 degrees tomorrow in Maine. Aries says, beware of murder hornets. Excuse me. Donald Day says rain starts here in Florida Thursday, lasting three days. Yeah, it's supposed to, it supposedly rains a bunch over the summer here. Whatever, as long as it's warm. As long as it's warm. That's what's important. I always wanted to live somewhere really warm like this. Always. Even L.A. wasn't warm enough for me. Sonic is here. Mad Dog is here. Chris Smith is here. Ron Ron is here. Ron Ron says it can get unbearably hot in the summer. Bring it on. That's all I have to say. Bring it on. I can't wait. Hapa Hanguk is here. Will Glow is here. 
Deb liqueur is here. I like it. I like the warm. I like when it's warm at night. It's not even warm enough at night for me right now. I like it when it's even warmer at night. So. Bluetooth pickler is here. Move to Aruba. <laughs> if there was somewhere in the U.S. with like that was affordable and warmer, I would do it. I can't really move to like the Florida Keys. It's going to be, be too expensive there. Miami would be too expensive. Is somebody repeating comments? I hope somebody isn't repeating comments. Don't repeat comments. Okay, I also wanted to mention um, the Philippines. That'd be fun to move to. Uh, that I also want to mention, um, oh, Mick Jen is here. I want to mention, uh, I actually, a couple things. I have some food news. I have some food updates. So you guys told me, I showed you that I had my, my one baking pan. If you remember from the, uh, I, I, I'll show you. Let me show you my baking pan, just in case you forget. I'll go get it and show you. Uh, let's see here. Where is it here? You know, my one baking pan, I had this issue where I cooked a couple baked potatoes and oil on it, and now, like, the oil is, like, burnt into the pan, and, you know, it, like, gets on the other stuff. And so you guys were just like, get foil. Cook on foil on the pan. So I got foil... And uh, I cooked on the pan for the first time ever tonight. I cooked on foil on the pan. I cooked a baked potato. And it was great. It came out great. I put the foil on the pan and put the baked potato on the foil. Nothing got on the pan. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. So, so thank you for the foil suggestion. That was very helpful. Oh, Angel Shark is stopping in. Good to see you, Angel Shark. Says, busy at work, wanted to say hi to everyone. Thank you, Angel Shark, for stopping by. No, Mad Dog, I can't use Barkeeper's Friend because this has a non-stick surface, so I think I'm not supposed to use that on this pan. What is this? Rhonda Reynolds, I don't know what you're talking about, Rhonda, but <laughs> Rhonda, that sounds like news to me. No news on the stream. Oh, thank you, Angel Shark. Hey, Angel Shark, thank you. That's very kind of you. Oh, we got a siren going on. Thank you, Angel Shark. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. She says, all I do is work. Well, at least you're making some money, apparently. Unless you're, I assume you're not working for free. She says, miss you all. Happy Life says, wrap the potatoes inside the foil. I didn't even need to. The potato came out great. I just put a little piece of foil below it. I don't like using the foil, but I think it's for the best. It's not like I'm going to use that much of it. I don't even know what, you know, last night we heard there was all these sirens, and I thought there might have been a car accident. I never heard what it was. I should check the local Orlando paper and see if I can find what it was last night that happened. Let me do a quick check. Mm. I'm not seeing anything from last night. I try to check the local I try to check the local paper. I've been reading the Orlando Sentinel. It's interesting though cuz you actually learn things about where you live. Like there was a build there's a building in downtown Orlando and I never real there's this thing there's this building in downtown Orlando. I'll show you the building. Sometimes I walk in downtown Orlando. I go for walks there. And there's a building I saw, and I thought it was like all an apartment building. So I would walk by the building, and I noticed they had like a, a basketball court. 
It's like a big apartment building. I was like, oh, that's so cool. These people who live in the apartment building get to use like this half basketball court because when you walk by on ground level, you can actually see that you can look inside and see the basketball court. Let me see if I can show you a picture here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if I go here. It's like right in, hold on, is that it? No, it's down here. Right in there is a basketball court. I wonder if I can see it on Google Maps. Can I actually look in there and see it? It's like right in there. You can't really see it, but there's a basketball court in there. There's like a basketball hoop. And I was like, oh, it's really neat that that apartment building has a basketball hoop. But it turns out it's not the apartment building. There's a whole apartment building, but in here, see where it says UC? It says UC in there? That's called the, uh, what's it called? University Club. That's not part of the apartment building. It's a special place called the University Club. See, it says University Club. And it's this private club for rich for rich socialites in Orlando. And I never knew this, and I only figured it out because it was an article about the university club in the local paper. So I never would have known what this UC thing is. And they have like these tables up here, but that's part of the club. And they have this like whole gym. I thought this was the gym for the building with the great basketball court. No, it's for the university club. The university club. So now I walk by there and I know what it is. The things you learn in your, in your local paper. Yeah, they have a website too, but I, I never would have known this was there. University Club of Orlando. See, the private membership social club. <laughs> then they have pictures inside. There's the basketball court. That's it. That's the basketball court. Did you see that? That's the basketball court. How do I get back to that one? And I, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool that that apartment building has a basketball court. But it, ma it makes sense. I mean, that's a little nice for an apartment building. Uh, no, I, I was reading about like some of the, I don't know exactly how much it is to join, but it's, it's way, way out of my budget. What do I need it for? Anyways, that's the university club. But they ha it's like invite only. Like they invite prominent Orlando residents to go there. Sonic is wondering if I bump into Sal Manila there. Well, I've never been inside there, but anyways. The point is, the point is I'm, I'm learning stuff about my town by reading my local paper. The thing is also, Atlanta, I can read the paper, but everything's so, Atlanta's so big. I like how, it's, it's a smaller town here. It's a smaller town, so it's more likely when I read something about this town, it's not that far from me. I, uh, Ruben Urban, I have a treadmill right here. What else do I need? I, it would be fun to shoot baskets, but <laughs> I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that. I don't have that kind of money. I bet it's thousands of dollars a month. I bet that's what I bet it is. If I had to guess. So that's, that's the university club. Okay, let's see here. Uh... Okay. So I talked about that. Uh, Jude Ann just got home from work. Jude Ann just got home from work. Welcome, Jude Ann. Meaningful acronym is here. Polly says, I'll call Shaq and get you an invite. Zipper is watching. Starfire says, Orlando Illuminati Club. We're going to do the, uh, in case you missed it last night, we're going to be doing the, the, the smoothie stream because I now have the frozen fruit. So we're going to do the smoothie stream. You know, uh, Resonics still isn't here. We still have Resonics's box of unopened Cliff Bars. I haven't opened it because Resonics hasn't been here. 
Maybe Versonic stop. Versonic's going to start sending Cliff bars and just stop watching the channel. But, um, but, uh, anyways, we're going to be doing the smoothie stream at some point. Can you send me something? Yeah, you can send me something, but you really should try to make it small and consumable. Because otherwise, I have nowhere to put it. I, the mail address is going to come up in the chat right now. My UPS store address. Now, I'll talk about dinner in a second. I haven't talked about it yet. The whole thing. But yeah, we're going to be doing the smoothie stream sometime where we actually make a smoothie. No, not tonight. It's not tonight. I'm not making smoothies at my desk. Sonic says I can add an R-E-S and S to my name and be a fill-in. Um, or an X to the name, I think. Uh, Sue Baker says a smoothie sounds great. So, um, what was I going to say? Uh, the smoothie stream will do. We will do that. And there was something else I wanted to mention. Before talking about the chicken. <coughs> Seize the day is here. Seize the day says Google Harvard Club of Miami. Well, I'm not in Miami, but um, Harvard clubs, I think, are super expensive, too. Like, I technically could join it, but I think it's super expensive. Connie Fernandez is here. Connie, the vaccine update is that I feel fantastic. I only have a little bit of a sore arm. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> Chris says it's candy from a local-owned business. I will try it. I will try it. I'm probably not going to pig out on it because I never eat candy unless it's said by a viewer. And when it's sent by a viewer, I have to go easy on it. But I would be happy to try it. G. West says, I sent you something you should have in the next couple days. Thank you. Uh, there are one or more packages waiting for me at the UPS store, which I didn't get over there today. So I need to go over there and uh, pick it up. Uh, Linda says, I'm beginning to peel pretty crummy. Linda had her... Linda, when was your shot? Your first shot was a couple days ago, right? Two days ago? Yeah, I told Linda, I said my when I had my first shot, my worst day was the day after my first shot. Yeah, Linda had it yesterday. So uh, yeah. my, my second day after my first, the day after my first shot was my worst day. I'm going to try to go running tonight. I have to time somebody out because he's posting the same thing over and over again. Uh, Sarah Joy beat me to it. Sarah Joy beat me to it. Thanks to the mods, by the way. Sarah Joy, Mark Helton, Linda Belk, Ruben Urban. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's different for everybody. Tommy O'Connor is going to hear, but Nightbot's going to watch. Nightbot's going to get Tommy O'Connor. Watch this. I love when people write all caps, and I, I wait. You wait for them to you wait for them you wait for Nightbot to get him. It's like when a mosquito flies too close to one of those, you know, mosquito snapper uh, snapper lamps. Somebody posts all caps, and you know Nightbot's going to get him. Okay, we got. Um, Oh, I'm going to talk about my chicken experience. My chicken experience. Aries had Portuguese food. Nice. I had a chicken experience. Mick Jen says we're supposed to get our first shot on Friday. It's time for the chicken experience discussion. Caesar Day says, I think the world has tons of private elite things I know nothing about i.e. concierge and levels in hotels I never knew about. I would not be surprised. No, so for the first time, this might be the first time ever tonight. For the first time ever, I believe I cooked food I had defrosted. I never freeze food. But I bought chicken. I bought a thing of chicken last week, 
And then it turned out, I said, oh, I'm not going to end up eating it until like after I get vaccinated. And so it would have expired. So I said, instead of letting it expire, I'm going to put it in the freezer for two days. So I put it in the freezer for two days. And then I took it out on late on Monday night because you're supposed to defrost in the fridge for at least a day. So I took it out late Monday night or early, very early Tuesday morning with the plan of eating it Wednesday night. And so I cooked today the chicken breast that had been defrosted. It was perfect. Couldn't tell the difference. Tasted the same. Uh, texture was the same. It was the exact same thing. In, in no way did it taste worse because it had been frozen and defrosted. So that was a, that was a, good, that was a good experience. That was a good experience. I had never done it before. I should probably buy a couple of chicken breasts and stick them in my fridge. But I, I defrosted them in the in the fridge for I didn't I didn't like run them under water or something. There's quicker ways to def defrost chicken breasts. Mama bowls. How to defrost thaw frozen chicken? Three easy ways. Uh, in the fridge, that's what I did. How to thaw in cold water. If you're short on time, pack the meat in a leak-proof zip-top bag. Submerge your bag in cold tap water, changing the water every 30 minutes. Small bags may take around an hour. Oh, that's still pretty long. Thawing it in the microwave. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. You can you set your microwave to defrost. Anyways, that's from Mama Bulls, from MamaBulls.com. But uh, I think I like the method where you just take it from the freezer to the fridge. Beth says, I buy one on sale and freeze them. Hedge Enemy says, I was freezing loaves of bread at the beginning of the pandemic when I was buying tons of food in bulk. Jennifer sometimes cuts hers while it's frozen. David Brooks is here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Cindy Lou says, freezing food beats throwing it away. Weewick says, I got my shot, no pain at all. Seize a day and Jan Porter do not recommend thawing in the microwave. Camille freezes uh, chicken breasts after marinating. Okay. So I mentioned the chicken breast. I mentioned how I used foil. Oh, you know, I got a vaccine sticker. I want to show you my vaccine sticker. They gave me a vaccine sticker. They, at the va when I got my second shot, they said, here's a sticker. But it didn't seem to work. Like, there was, it didn't seem to peel off. It seemed like it was more of like a badge rather than a sticker. Let me show you the sticker they gave me. Hold on. So I believe the place that ran it is Agape Family Health, if that's how you pronounce it. So they said, they gave me this sticker. It says, I took one in the arm. I took one in the arm, COVID-19. Agape Family Health. But I, there's no way, you can't get the back off. The back doesn't come off. Erica says the CDC has pages you can print the what? You can print a sticker? Yeah, I only got this after the second shot, not the first shot. I, I bet they don't give it to you after the first shot because they don't want to confuse you and think you're done. Beth says my sticker says I got the vaccine so I can do life. Sarah Joy likes the Fauci ouchie button better. 
Jake says, it's very important. I get a sticker. I love stickers. Christina is here. Hey, guys, Christina stopped by. Hey, Castro stopped by, too. Good to see you, Castro. Christina, update us. People have been wondering what's going on with you. Hey, this is not a stain. This is from the wash. I don't know what happened in the wash. Last time I did the wash, I don't know what happened, but some, some stuff came out with, like, soap residue from it. You see that? that that's not a stain. This is a, this is a freshly washed shirt. So I think this is, when I did the wash last time, I think there was some kind of soap residue in there. I assume that'll just come out next time. Um, let's see here. What does Christina say? Christina, tell everybody how you're doing. I don't use powdered detergent. So Chris says it may have gotten caught in the drum. Christina says, nice to see everyone. Edward says, Christina, where have you been? Hey, you know what I want to kind of, I, I would kind of like to do? I got to figure this out. I was wondering, so, you know, pr previously, previously when I've, when people, like when one of you guys, ugh, <laughs> previously when you, one of you guys have, uh, have called in or FaceTimed in to the show, um, I have like held the, iPad up to the camera but I what I was wondering is Christina says not good I've been going on road trips in New England that's what Christina says what I'm wondering is could I do I, I don't know if this would work if I did a zoom chat with somebody and I put it on my computer could I just show you the zoom chat I think I'd have to be wearing my headphones because otherwise, I think you'd be here and there'd be a delay. I don't even know. <laughs> so confused. Yeah, there'd be like a... I think you would hear... I don't know. I think, I think what could work is if... I just showed the Zoom chat on the air. It's just, it, it, it just, it, it don't, don't suggest things. It's too confusing. Believe me, it's, it's, there's all these specificities going on. I just need to try it at some point. I think it'll work. There's just, I know it's not a problem of getting it on the screen. It's just you run into weird things with audio because you're listening to me talk through my microphone. So if I start hearing sound come out of my computer, you're gonna he you might hear the same thing twice. That's, that's the problem. The problem is all the sound stuff. So... Christina, would you, do you want to help me try this? I've been meaning to try this, and I just forgot. Christina, would you want to do like a two-minute appearance? You hit a pole, Christina? What? Christina, would you want to do a two-minute appearance if I gave you a Zoom chat link, Christina? Because then I can try putting the Zoom on the ear. You can help the channel, Christina. It's okay if you don't want to. I just, I've been meaning to try this and I just forgot because I'm a bad person. So I don't have to sh hold up my iPad. All right, Christina says, sure. So what I got to do is I need to create, I need to create a Zoom chat that Christina can, we're going to try, we're going to try this for the first time tonight. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try it for the first time, guys. This is very special. All right, so I want to set up a Zoom meeting. I'm going to actually try talking to somebody, Christina, but I'm going to try showing us both on the air at the same time so I don't have to hold up the, uh, so I don't have to hold up the um, iPad. Okay, schedule a meeting. I'm in Zoom. We want it to be at...
That sounds good, okay. Just only let me set a 24 minute duration. Oh, 24, okay. Hang on. Okay, I think I did this right. Now what I need to do is I need to send Christina the location of the meeting. Then she can tell you what happened to her. If I can find her, where to send it to her. Hold on, guys. I got it. Okay, Christina, I just sent you I just sent you the link to the meeting. Now, let's see if I can do this. Mm. Hang on. I'm trying to show this on the air. Is this going to work? Let's see. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. You know why I can't do it? I can't do it because I can't do it because I'm using the camera. So I can't use the camera for Zoom when I'm using the camera for this broadcast. That's the problem. I would have to have a second camera. I can use my I can use my iPad. But, but that, that, that doesn't help because the point was to just show it on the air. See, that's the problem. That's, all right, Christina, if you want to call in for, for a minute, we can do it on, uh, we can do the FaceTime thing. But, um, but uh, yeah, well, there you go. That, that, actually, that actually makes sense. Testing, testing. Oh, the, oh, let me check the volume. Hold on. I'll fix the volume. Should fix it. Test, test, one, two. Should be fixed. Test, test, test. Sorry, it's good. That's what the problem was. That's what the problem is. Hey, Slim Dog is watching. Oh, I could do Zoom, but block the camera on Zoom. That's an interesting idea. I could do Zoom. Why don't we do that? Let's try that. All right, Christina, we're going to try this again. We're going to try it again. We're going to try doing it on Zoom, and then you'll just see Chris. But then you won't see me. That's, that's not going to work very well, I don't think. That's not going to work very well. Because, because if you just see the Zoom and you don't see me, well, and actually, it might work. It might work. Hold on, because I can put me in the corner. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. We're going to try this. We're going to try this again. Hang on. Christina, I'm sending you the invite again. Will this work? Okay, here we go. Okay, now...
All right, so I'm in this meeting right now, and you can't see me because I'm not my my because my because my speed my compute my 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 camera is off in the meeting. But what I'm hoping happens is that Christina shows up in the meeting, and it should be her face there, and then maybe I can show you her face and my face at the same time. This is interesting. I don't know if this is going to work. But I don't see her in the meeting yet. She's not there yet. Christina, you need to go to the meeting. Please, please do not, st don't suggest the OBS stuff or anything like that, please. It's not going to help. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, sometimes Zoom meetings are hard to join. I agree with you. Right, Sonic, in theory, it could work for AFTV. I agree. I, I've been meaning to try this. Christina, I just emailed you the link. I emailed it to you. Check your email, Christina. I just sent you an email. Check your spam folder. I literally just sent you an email. Did you not get the email? <laughs> Hello? Are the volumes down? It's not, it, I, I think it affects my volume. I'll fix it. <coughs> volume is better. Volume is better right now. I fixed the microphone volume. Christina said, I don't know what's going on. Christina says, we're still waiting for Christina. But she hasn't joined the, the, the meeting, the Zoom meeting says the host has another meeting this is this happens I, I just don't understand why this happens no christina i sent you two messages try them both there's two different messages i sent you with two different meetings so try both of them but this is a this is a freaking problem with zoom where it like where um where 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 meetings it's hard to join the meetings but i sent you try both of the links no, Christina, if I do Instagram, I can't show you on the air like this. The point is to do it on Zoom so I can show it on the air. <laughs> the, the, we're, we're testing out this way I can show, your, show you on the air without holding you up on the iPad. So can you drive both, both links? I have had this issue with Zoom before. This weird host is in another meeting thing. Why are you watching, Robert? Why are you watching? You know what's cringe is somebody sitting at home and has nothing better to do than to watch something they hate and complain about it rather than finding something else to do. That's cringe. Not working. I, I don't know. I hate it. I hate Zoom. I hate it. This happened last time we were doing a group chat with Zoom. The exact same thing happened. The exact same thing. It's the worst. It's the exact same thing happened. I'm, I'm sending you this one more time, Christina. Check your email one more time. I sent you another link, Christina. Try this one. I just emailed you another link. Please do not... Re I'm timing people out. Don't... You don't need to tell me what Christina said. I can read the chat. 
So, so please stop saying Christina said this. I can read the chat by myself. I don't need you repeating what somebody typed in the chat. I just saw it. Guys, is no one listening to one? People keep saying, well, try it this way. The point, the reason we're doing it with Zoom is so I can show you her on the screen. It doesn't help if I say do Instagram or I do it on my iPad. Th that's not the point. The point is to show, is to not have to hold up my iPad. That's the whole reason we're trying this. Christina, can you try? Can, hey, Jay Z. Christina, can you try it from your phone? Are you on your phone? I just sent you another email with the with the link. Hey, Wendy Boo, thank you so much, Wendy Boo. I appreciate that. I just don't, I'm, I'm removing suggestions. The suggestions are getting, I can't read them anymore. All right, here's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do now? I'm literally going to post, I'm going to post the, uh, Christina says, hold on. Please stop suggesting things. <laughs> I'm deleting all suggestions. <laughs> They're getting too annoying. I'm trying it this way. Jake, you just got timed out. So, I mean, it's just the worst. It is the worst. This always happens with Zoom. It always happens. It always happens. Oh, Christina, try one more time. Christina, tr can you try it one more time, Christina? Just try the same link one more time. Same one, this, the last one I sent you. Try it one more time. We'll see. I am happy. The weather is so great here, Wendy Boo. Dennis is here. Steve Edwards is here. She says no good. I don't I don't even know what to say anymore. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to post how do I do this? Let's see. Guys, I'm going to literally post I'm posting it I'm posting it um in anyone can join. Because I can always just kill the meeting. I just posted the. I just posted it in the. The link is now in the chat. Can anyone see if they can join this Zoom meeting? Anyone see if they can join it? Somebody try to join it. I just posted the link. It, the link is in the chat. Oh, see, S J Nuno joined. S J Nuno joined. I just posted. Josh. Josh is there. Jay Z is there. Look, all these people are here. I, all the, the there's, there's ten people here. There's 10 people in the meeting right now. 
All right, now hold on. What I have to do is... I on the meeting right now. See, this is what I have to do. It's going to get messed up. I need to, I think, put my headphones on. All right, now hold on. What I have to do is... what I have to do. I think put my headphones on. All right, now hold on. What I have to do is... All right, hang on, guys. Hang on. Why am I not hearing anything? This isn't good. Yeah, this is a problem. I can't hear anything unless I turn the speakers on. I see Rick Hoppy there. Hold on. The, the weird thing is, th this is the problem, is I need a way to hear it without you guys hearing what's in the speaker. Right, I'm going to have to mute this for a second. Hold on. Why why isn't this working? I have these um I have these here which should let me hear what's coming out of the computer and it's not it's not working. I have these um I have these here which should let me hear what's coming out of the computer and it's not working. All right. Hang hang on a second here. I think you're hearing 10 things. Hold on one second. Guys, give me one second. I want to figure something out. Uh. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Uh. Why is it working? <laughs> Let me try something here. Why is it working? Yeah, it's not. It, it, for some reason, my Bluetooth headphones won't capture what's going on in Zoom. Captures what's going on in other places, but not in Zoom. All right, so let me just show you guys really quick. I'm going to show you what the Zoom looks like. First of all, this has got to go away. I can't. I can't hear the people in the chat. I, I had to mute. Now I can. I can. The problem. The problem now is. The problem now is. What I need to make this work is. How do I shut up the? How do I shut the chat? How do I shut this? Okay. I, I think I did that. All right. Uh, so here's the problem. Here's the problem. I think you can hear me. So the problem. Hopefully you. Hopefully you're not hearing the chat anymore. The problem is is that to make this work, I need to be able to hear what's being said in the Zoom meeting, but I, I can't use my external speakers because if I'm listening to it through my external speakers, then you're going to hear it through the microphone that I'm using, and it's going to be echoey. It's going to be a good feedback. So ideally what I would do is I would, what I just tried to do is I just tried to use my Bluetooth headphones to hear what's coming out of my computer while turning my speakers off. But for some unknown reason, the Bluetooth headphones don't let me hear the Zoom chat. They let me hear the rest of the stuff on my computer, but not the Zoom chat. And I have no idea why. <laughs> um, so here's, let me see if I can, let, I'm gonna try to show the people in the Zoom chat right now. So let me see if this works. Are you ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show what the Zoom chat looks like. So let's see if this works. Is this gonna work? Okay, so I see you can see the Zoom chat. There's Rick Hoppy. There's Chandra. There's Rick. Uh, Rick says I can help. Well, Rick, the problem is the, the 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 problem is just the sound aspect of it. It's only the sound. The, the Zoom is working. The thing I have to there's Dave. Dave Meads is there. Todd Williams picture. Matt Danger's down there. We got Matt. Jay Z is there. Uh, Beth is there in the corner it's not ideal but if there were just one person in the meeting if there were just one person then i could do this see so this this will work this will work if this will work if i can find a way to get the sound from zoom into my bluetooth here headset because it wasn't playing before rick's gonna write a note and explain to me
But that's, that's the one problem. But the weird thing is the sound from the Zoom is coming out of my external speakers. So when I put on my Bluetooth headset, it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't see how the sound from, I don't see why the Bluetooth, why the Zoom meeting would be audi audible on my external speakers and not be audible when I put my Bluetooth headset on. It doesn't make any sense. The Bluetooth headset should be capturing everything coming out of the computer. Zoom settings and check where. I don't even see the settings. Mute everyone, check check out participants, then mute all. Why am I Dave Meads, why am I muting everyone? <laughs> why am I doing that? I can mute everybody, that's not gonna help anything. Oh no, I, I think I, I, I muted, I muted this. The reason you guys aren't hearing things is I muted it so for people at home. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still hearing things. Oh, hold on. Okay, I just muted. I think I see what was happening. I think I see what was happening is you guys couldn't hear me because everybody's talking. So I just muted, I just muted the Zoom chat because now you can just hear me. Okay, so we, did, we took care of that problem. I just, I just muted the Zoom chat, okay? So the people were in the Zoom chat, but I just muted it. Um, so, so you guys can't hear the Zoom chat right now, supposedly. Um, so again, the problem is, the only problem is, the only problem is that's keeping this from working is for some reason, when I put on my Bluetooth headset, which is supposed to be sharing the sound from the computer with me, the Bluetooth headset isn't sending me the Zoom chat, but, but it's coming out of the external speakers, which makes no sense because whatever's coming out of the external speakers, when I put the Bluetooth headset on, should be coming out of the Bluetooth headset. So th this does not make any sense to me. The settings are in the Zoom second box. It may be. The Zoom second box? <laughs> I don't see that, but what setting am I doing? <laughs> what, how, how are the settings going to affect? I, I see audio settings. There's audio settings. I'm at audio settings. But what do I do? I, I don't know what's going to... Um, What's going to change in audio settings? Speakers. Same as system. I'll try this. Let me try this. Let's try this again. I'm going to try this again. Where did, where did I put my headset? I don't even, my headset flew away. Here it is. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Okay, now, if I unmute everybody, everybody's muted. How do I unmute everybody? Ask all to unmute. I can't just unmute everybody? That's weird. It says ask to unmute. Can't just unmute everybody? Okay, I'm he I'm hearing the chat. I'm hearing the chat. Breaking news. Ask to unmute. I'm here. Okay, I'm I'm hearing the chat. I'm hearing the chat. Breaking news. Okay, watch. I'm here. All right. Hey guys. Hey. This is John Rowe. I'm here. You you guys need to turn me down. You guys need to turn. Oh, hold on, I'm muting everybody again. I, I just muted everybody again. 
the people in the people in the Zoom chat, you got to turn things down on your end. You got to turn down your computers and your speakers. I'm hearing your TVs. I'm hearing myself through your computer. You got to turn all your stuff down. Because that's why I'm, that's why we're hearing 30 things cuz cuz I'm hearing the stuff in the background. But I can now hear you, which is great. So thank you Rick for telling me where the set, for for getting me to go to settings and figure that out. Okay, now we're going to try this again. So please turn everything down on your end. Now we're going to try, I'm going to try unmuting you again. Unfortunately, it doesn't let me unmute you. It just says ask to un all to unmute. All right, let's see. People will start unmuting again. Let's see. Thank you, Rick, for telling me where the set was. Hello. Unfortunately, it doesn't let me unmute you. Joanne is present. Oh, check to you. Check to you. Why am I hearing myself? I mean, I'm all right. <laughs> Let me repeat this for people in the Zoom chat. Let me repeat it. The reason we're hearing myself multiple times is because one of you has your volume too high. You need to turn off your, you need to turn down the volume on your end. I don't need to mute YouTube. My YouTube is already muted. All right, I'm going to try unmuting them again. I'm going to try unmuting them again. Let's try this again. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to have to, uh, I'm going to, have to get on a single call with Christina. Let's try it again. Hello. 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 Everyone turned down to see you on YouTube. Right again. Hello. I got to start selectively muting people. I'm going to selectively mute people. Oh, yeah, I need to get my heads up. Let me get my head stuck. Mm. It was Christina. I think it was Christina. I think Christina had music on. I think it was Christina because I muted her and all the sound went away. Let's try this again. Why am I hearing myself? It was Christina. I think it was Christina. I think Christina had music on. I think it was Christina because I muted her and all the sound went away. Uh, I just I found out who that is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, so I think I think this is sort of working. I think this is sort of working. Okay. Uh, why, I, I don't know why I'm continuing to hear myself twice. So I think, I think this is sort of working. I think this is How is this not happening? Hold on. It's, I'm telling you, it's Christina. I just did it again. It's Christina. See, Christina, when I unmute you, I'm hearing myself. I think, I, Christina, you might have me on speakerphone or something. But the problem is, is when I unmute Christina, then I'm hearing myself because I'm hearing my audio through her speaker. That's what it is. As soon as I mute Christina, it's fine. <laughs> this is the problem. I see. Hey, by the way, thanks to all of our, we got, Rita is helping us. Uh, Ms. RV Cruzen is there helping us. Beth is helping us. Matt Danger is helping us. Um, Rick Hoppy is helping. April Coco is there. All these, Dave Meads is helping us. John Anderson's helping. Tammy Lance. This is fun. We should do this more often. Uh, Chandra is helping us. You can see Chandra if I make myself disappear. So I appreciate it. But I muted everyone, but I think the only problem, I think, I think it's Christina. Christina, I'm going to try unmuting you one more time. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. If I unmute Christina. 
Where is she? Where did she go? There she is. Watch. I'm going to unmute her and all hell's going to break loose. Hello, Christina? Hello. Okay, so I can hear you now. Okay. Can, you can't, you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, this is wonderful. This is great. Okay, so I have Christina, but Christina, you're driving, so I don't want you to be distracted, and also we can't even see you when you're driving. It's okay. I can, I can pull over and I can turn it around. Give me one second, okay? All right, all right. So Christina's going to pull over, guys. And I think what I'm going to, all right, so uh, the others who are there, you, you are free to sit there. We got Tammy and John and uh, retro, we got retro fan there. That's Dave Chandra. Other people are just kind of popping, uh, popping in. But so I'm happy to leave everybody there. There's Christina. Christina, you're down here. How do I, how do I, uh, there's Beth and Rick and Lisa and Matt Danger and RV Cruz and Rita Lamar. Awesome. And everybody else who's there. Now, how can I, can I get Christina by herself on the screen? No, that didn't work. No, I don't know if I'm Zoom. Christina's here. Somebody will tell me how to do this. Uh, video. What I need to do is to try to get one person on the screen at once instead of, instead of seeing everybody at once. Pin her. I don't know how to pin her. I don't even know what there she is right there there she is pin oh there she is I did it okay yay okay this is this is amazing all right so hold on what I need to know I'm gonna say something to Christina let's talk for five seconds and let's see if the viewers can okay. uh, hear this hold on how do I get rid of the sidebar can I can I get this the participant sidebar can I make that disappear close okay okay so here's what we're doing this is the big test coming up this is the big test. Um, Christina, I can't see you, though. There you are. Hey, um, let me turn. Like, can you see me better? Are you, are you, don't drive. You have to pull over or I'm not talking to you. If you don't pull over, I'm not talking <laughs> to you. Okay, you really want me to pull over? Yes, I will not talk to you. I'm going to end this right now if you don't pull over. Oh, okay, let me pull over. Me you have to pull over and stop the car. I'm going to pull over. Okay, one minute. I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't think That's okay. Didn't Take your time. Take, Take your time. Pull over. She's pulling over. <laughs> April says, "I think she know why. I think you know why she hit the pole." So we are testing. We are testing right now. Uh, this we're, we're trying to show you an interview technology. I wish I could show you this. If I move this down, oh, then now you can see some of the people on the top there. See, I can cycle through everybody. There's John and Beth, and RV cruising. Tammy, Tom, Matt, Danger. So I'm just cycling through the participants here at the top. See, you can see them too. Hi, Matt. Hi, Tom. Rabundles, Tammy, Lance, RV Cruising, John, Beth, Retro Fan. Thanks, everybody else, for helping us test. Are you are you definitely not driving now? No more. <laughs> okay, uh, Christina's not driving. Um, okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to see if this works. Uh, we're going to see if I can talk to Christina on screen and you guys at home can uh, follow the interview. So Christina, uh, just to test this out, how are you doing right now? Just how, what, uh, how, how's your night going? Just say anything. Sad. It's going bad. It's a, it's going it's going okay. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll get into more of this now. Before you say anything more, guys, can you hear? Can you at home? I'm going to look at the chat. Can you at home follow the conversation between me and Christina? Are you hearing everything? Are you hearing her audio good? Please let me know. Uh, Ron says it's working well. Dave says yes, we can. Daniel says yes. Cindy says yes. So people can hear. Wow, this is so, so this technology does work. What, what we're showing is I can talk to somebody on the screen through a Zoom meeting, um, and you guys can follow along. 
that's fantastic then we got all the other folks up here just watching we got our other viewers I'll scroll through them thank you other viewers for helping me test this they're all just hanging out in the chat there um, okay so Christina let's continue thank you for doing this Christina people are concerned about you they want to know what's they want to know what's going on with you so what what is what is up there? Uh, can, what can you can you update our viewers who are concerned about you? Yeah, uh, thank you guys for your concern. Um, I'm just going. You know, uh, it's very saddening for me to to not have a job right now. Uh, there's not too much out there, so I'm looking. I applied for unemployment, but in New York there is substantial delays. So I've been using this time to like relax, recharge, and. Um, you know work on myself so i'm i've been driving around the northeast going to see some spots you know looking at maybe places to live in the future uh, just going on some road trips and just trying not to cry because that's pretty much where i'm at like a state of uh you know if i don't keep myself busy right now i'm, I'm in, a, in a in a sad state i'm so sorry to hear that christina for those of you who don't know christina uh in an unplanned manner lost her job a few weeks ago so she did not know this was going to happen so everybody's thinking about christina and wants her to feel better um and uh let's and seize the day says i'm sorry to hear that matt danger says sorry to hear you are sad i don't know if you can see the chat right now but i'll oh, read yeah. you some of the message thank you steve i see it's popping up at the bottom Oh, you, you, no, no, what I mean is there's a chat on YouTube too. You, oh, no, you I probably can't have to, see that one. right. So I'll, I'll tell you what some of the people are saying on YouTube as well, because you can't see that right now, because you're, you're, what you're seeing is the people in Zoom posting. Uh, so you're seeing their messages. Um, Just Dude says, best wishes. Jean Ann says, so sorry, Christina. Aries says, you're in my thoughts. Um, Paula says, you have disability, but I don't believe you have disability. Um, yeah, I don't qualify for disability. Right. Okay. Um, Jay-Z says, what does Christina do normally? Um, I'm a paralegal. Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm showing some of the other people up top too. I'm, I'm cycling through some of the, some of the, uh, there's some other viewers. There's Tammy and Matt and Rebundles up there. They're now they're on the screen. Um, let's see here. Well, some other people said, uh, uh, let's see. No, I can I can hear Christina with the mask. I can hear her fine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, Cindy Lou wants to know roughly where you are. She says, "Are you near Boston?" No, I'm not. I'm not near Boston. I'm closer to New York City area. Okay, she's closer to New York City. But she I'm says, not "If you in Boston, like it's like not a good trip." <laughs> it's what? I'm not, I'm not I'm not far from Boston. It's not a fun trip, but um, I could get there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jay-Z says, if you are in New England, I will ask my legal department. If somebody knows of a job anywhere, should they tell you about it? You're willing yeah, to move? I, I mean, I'm, if, if, you have, uh, if you have like Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, or Vermont, I'd be willing to move. <laughs> mm. Um. Ben Huffstetler says, wishing, wishing you well. Paula Faust says, you're in my thoughts. Uh, uh, Edward Kim says, what happened? You hit a pole. Are you all right? Oh, this was funny. I was going, so uh, this may, I don't want to like speak of a contentious issue on a family friendly show, Steve, but New York okay. recently uh, legalized marijuana. Can I talk about that? New York legalized marijuana. Can you talk about that? Uh, yes. Okay, so I was going to um, I was going to the dispensary in Massachusetts, and it was through the Berkshires, and I was taking a, a route through the mountains. And uh, as soon as I turned into this one town, um, my car is rear real wheel drive, and it spun out a bit. I hit the pole. I stabilized my car. I drove very slowly to the next street corner. I pulled my car over, and I'm like, I'm sure, I'm sure this car is 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 for uh, blown tires. No blown tire, and I just took it very easy and slow through the Berkshires for like 20 minutes, like going going 20 miles per hour, and I made it to the dispensary. I waited a couple hours, and then it opened, and I drove home. So it's it sounds like your car is okay. Yes, everything is good. I'm okay. The car is okay. Oh, okay, boy, good. Did I, <laughs> did I have a little bit of a scare? 
I'm going to put something on the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, um, hang on, I'll get my pen up here. I have to do, I don't know if this is going to work. I think this is going to work. If I do this and I'll say on the screen, pink, uh, talking live to viewer Christina. That's me, hello. Okay. That's who we're talking to. Oh, wait, it didn't come up on the screen. Oh, I know what happened. I see what happened here. Hang on. I got to fix this. Let's try this again. There it is. I'll do it this way. I haven't never done this before on the air. So, Christina, I really appreciate, and everybody else in Zoom, you helping us figure out this technology. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out the technology of lighting in my car. <laughs> oh, okay. You did. You figured it out. Yeah, I think I figured and I, it out. And I'm, I'm periodically uh, scrolling through some of the viewers at the top, too. There's Beth there in Rebundles. Um, so, so and, and this is something, but this is something, see, if, like, we're on agenda-free TV and, and I want to talk to somebody, see, I, I can talk to you and I don't have to hold you up. People can see you now. I don't have to hold your face up on yeah. the iPad, which is better. Um, Actually, I also figured out, I'm not going to do it, but if I wanted to, like, it's, it's a little, I can make myself bigger too, but I'm not going to do this. I can just do this. So anyways, but then, then we're like a little more even. Here we go. Um, yeah, if I do this, anyways, I'll leave it like that. Eh. Hang on. We'll just do this. Um, so, all right. So we're talking to Christina, and, uh, and she's a viewer. And let's see here. Uh, Colligan Crafts says, how can I get on the Zoom? I posted the Zoom link before. I, maybe it's still here. Uh, yeah, I just posted the Zoom link again. But uh, right now we're just showing, uh, we're just showing Christina. The, the original point was to show Christina, but she couldn't get in. So what I did is I just said, hey, can anybody in the chat see if they can get in the Zoom? And I posted the link and then lots of people joined. Um, so, which was helpful. But then she, then she got in this. The, the, the original idea was not to give out the address publicly. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, oh, let me, before we continue, let me just do a quick news check because we've been doing this so long. I want to make sure we're not, we're not missing non Lookner world news. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. And really quickly, I owe a thank you from before to Sonic, who said, check out Miracle Thaw on Amazon. Ch Sonic, can you remind me to do that later in the stream? Because I will. Thank you, Sonic and Wendy Boo. I miss uh, Wendy Boo and Sonic. Thank you. Okay, Christina, so you're there. You're driving around. Um, how long do you plan to stay on the road for? Are you going to stay in a hotel tonight? What's going on? You going to sleep well, in your no. car? No, no, I'm home now. I'm going to Montauk tomorrow. So I got home and then uh, I planned a trip with one of my friends and we're going to Montauk tomorrow. So I'm oh. just going to chill by the beach and stay at a hotel and I don't know, start to try to look for jobs soon, but it, I'm, I'm depressed. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. And by the way, I have to correct it. It said talking live for viewer Christina. It should have said talking live to viewer Christina. <laughs> talking live to viewer Christina. Ooh, I'm going to have to mute people. See, the problem is people are joining the stream and now I got to mute them. See, this is the problem. I just messed everything up with new people joining the stream. So now I need to go to participants. And you got to mute some more people. The new people. Where are they? There, I just yeah, muted somebody. I think we're good. Okay, so um, uh, let's see here. Uh, fans, Fan Zansky, Christina says, Montauk is beautiful. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah Montauk's one of my favorite places. Um, I did uh, my prom house when I was a, a junior, and I went to senior prom with all my friends. We did prom house out there. So it's I don't know what prom college. house is. What do, you, what do you mean you know, you know what prom house is? I don't know what it is. What is it? Prom house is, 
prom house is when um, you rent a house for prom and everyone is like making drama over it and then you have a prom house and you go to it after prom and then you get drunk and you smoke weed and you sit by the beach and do delinquent things in high school. Wow, that's okay, that's, that's, a, that's okay. I think we get the idea. I think you don't have to go further. We get the idea, thank you. Hey, I see uh, Rita up there. Uh, Rita, will you want to experiment? We've never done this before. Rita, can you, do you want to experiment by asking a question? Maybe, Rita, I'm gonna unmute Rita and see if she'll, we've never done this. Um, Rita is there. Rita, I, I'm unmuting you. Can okay. you test out? Can you test out asking Christina a question? It can be anything. So look, guys, if you're watching at home, hold on. Rita, Rita is up here. See, there's Matt and there's Ryder, but Ryder just has a background. So there's Rita. So we're going to experiment with Rita asking a question to uh, Christina. Let's see if this works. How are your folks? Since you wait, been where did Rita go? Where did you Am go, Rita? You, oh my gosh. you just, well, you just disappeared. She's oh all God. gone. Where's Rita? There's Josh. There's Josh. We got some other viewers there. We got Erica. We got Rita? Jake from State Farm. Paul, Amy, John, Matt, Ryder, Rebundles, Red Retro Fan, Beth, RV Cruisin. Uh, Rick Hoppy is there. Chandra's there. Uh, Stan is there. Hey, good to see everybody. But I don't see Rita. Rita, did you shut <laughs> off your camera or something? I, I don't what did you so. do? I don't know. Can Rita's you just gone. Rita's go she's she's totally gone. I don't know. There she is. Oh, I got her. I got her. Hold on. She was just there. Where there did she, she go? <laughs> there she is. Right there. She's up there. Okay, next to Josh. All right, Rita, continue. Now we can hear her. Okay. So, Christina, how are your folks doing? Um, they're okay. They're they've been giving me. It's been rough. Every time I lose a job, it's hard because I'm like living at home, so there's always more more tension. And right now, mm -hmm. it seems to be an 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 increased period of of tension at home. But uh, for the most part, they're not upset or pushing me, and they um, were kind of not happy with how the employer was treating me. But th it's not great at home right now, which is which is kind of why I've been traveling up uh, up north and trying to get away because. Uh, it's just very hard on my heart. Well, I'm glad Christina's you're to get away for a little bit. That's great. Just kind of no, thank you. No, mentally thank you. get free, you know? Christ you Christina, if people want to contact you, you have a, you have a Twitter and Instagram, right? Is there, one, is, you, is there one you prefer if people want to, like, message you? Yeah, you guys can um, send me, you can send me either on Twitter or Instagram. I'm just going to uh, just advise, like, if anyone is under 18, I will not. Uh, accept your message and it's not that I don't love you or I don't appreciate uh, you caring for me it's just personally uh, I'm a civilian and I'm not a celebrity or anything but I just don't personally feel comfortable speaking to people that aren't of legal age just for any you know any legal reasons I'm never going to say anything inappropriate to you but you do have a, a different type of rights than anyone of above legal age so i just want to make sure if you want to talk to me leave me a comment and if you're um if you're not 18 i just can't respond back and there was a gentleman a young man who was sending me messages on instagram and i had to stop because uh you said you were 16. so what is your twitter and what is your instagram so they can they know my yeah my twitter uh my twitter is christina virus and the vir the L, uh, the I in virus is a, a lowercase L. So it's Christina C H R I S T I N A virus V L R U S, and then Chris it's Christina virus on um on what's it called on Instagram. Instagram. But on Instagram, it's just Katrina, Katrina Virus. There's no L. It's just Christina Virus. So Instagram yeah. is Christina Virus, all one word. On Twitter, it's Christina, Vi Christina Virus, but the I in virus is actually an L. Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay, okay, good. Um, Starfire says, sorry about your crummy boss, Christina. By the way, thank you, Rita, for doing that. I appreciate that, Rita. Rita helped us test our, uh, our questioning uh, capability. Um, uh, Brendan likes that you're a fan of Ohio State, um, and uh, let's see here. Nan B thinks you have a great personality. Thank you. Uh, 
the my personality is kind of on the rocks, but with respect to Ohio State, if anyone wants this coat, I will mail it to you. It was sent to me in error. It's very comfortable and I love it, but I, I don't know anything about Ohio State. The NFL shop messed up and they sent me this instead of my cousin's Christmas gift. So oh, wow. I got this of New York Giants leggings to send my cousin. <laughs> So you can contact Christina about the jacket as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, if you need it. Uh, Darren says he wishes nothing but the best for you. Stay strong. Thank you, Darren. I, I appreciate that. I'm trying. I'm trying to hang in there. It just seems like there's a lot of factors uh, against me at this time, but um, that's the way life is. And we're in COVID, so it's it's not bad to not be in the world or, or, or not be working because it's just kind of the world kind of is 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 in a period of turmoil and uh, rapid fire change I'm okay to, to be kind of stuck in one place and not have to make a, a any any strange decisions oh what's that what's that that's, that's the gas <laughs> the oh gas. are you running out of gas are you running out of gas no I'm, oh, fine. Okay. I'm, fine. I'm fine don't run out of gas uh, Brandon says you have a new follower. Edward Kim says you have a nice jacket, but it's not my size. Well, too bad. Um, Mick Jen says good luck. Uh, Hedge Enemy says the job market is garbage right now. Sebi says you have a beautiful smile, Christina. Uh, all the best says I hope you make it in music just like me. That's what all the best says. So a lot of viewers are very a lot of viewers are very concerned about you and want the best. And I'm hoping. Um, hold on a second here. Uh, uh, hold on one second here. Oh, no problem. Um, but everybody, like, like, hopefully things, as as I was saying last time, as somebody who's been out of work a bunch and, and fired from jobs, uh, it sucks. But hopefully the next thing you get, you'll be like, this is much better, and I'm glad this all happened this way. That's the, that's the hope, at least. So, um, oh, uh, Jay-Z wants to ask you a question. Josh, who's, who's, who you can see above you. There's Josh right there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unmute Josh, and then he's going to ask you a question. Uh, it's so weird. Like, people just disappear. I don't know why this system is like this. I'm very amateurish at this. There's Josh right there. Okay. There he is. Hey, Josh. Hey, thanks for unmuting me. So why um, did he, Where did he disappear? He disappeared no, no, again. No, no, no. I'm just on the second page, Steve. All you have to okay, do here is, it is. Like, look, there's an arrow all the way to the right. There's yeah, I'm clicking on the arrow. There you are. Okay. But you keep what happens is somebody talks and then like they disappear and go to a different page. Right, that's which possible. makes no sense. this many people it's very difficult. Yeah. By the way, without there Zoom, he is. Without Zoom, I wouldn't literally have a job right now. So thank thank you Zoom. <laughs> so um Christina. Yes. My, my main question is like where do you want to be a paralegal again and you've chosen a very large area? Do you know people in um, Massachusetts or any of the surrounding states? Because, I mean, I can, like, I can talk to my legal department. And I work for a software company. I can talk to my legal department. They're always looking for people to do contracts and stuff. So, um, Is your company in mass only? It is, but, like, everybody's off. You know, everybody isn't in Massachusetts right now. They aren't at the, the office. They're on Zoom. I just, you know, the thing is, I, I have a, I have a string of bad luck. I would love to put my name out and work for the company that you work for. It's just that I don't want to, you know, if it doesn't work out, I don't want to put a blight on your name. And two, um, I don't want to, you know, put you in a strange situation as, you know, you don't, you don't know me and like, I don't want to ruin your reputation. So, um, so Steve, what if, <laughs> what if Christina can send a resume over? Like you want you. me to? Or something. So if you... you know, a resume is what it does, you know? A resume has nothing to do with anything. It is what you are. So if if you have a resume, I have a network. I can throw that resume out to the network. This is how Who knows works. what happens? Who knows what happens? <laughs> Christina, if you want to send me a resume, uh, you have my contact info and I can forward it to Josh. Um, Josh, thank you so much for the opportunity. But Steve, I'm gonna send it to you, but I don't wanna work at an office right now. <laughs> yeah, hardly anybody's working in offices. At the I know, moment. like, do they have a remote position? I mean, I, I would love I, to move I, I don't know, but I've got a fairly large 
network on LinkedIn, etc. It's okay. you know, it, it's it's about your resume, not about me. Hey, here are some of the comments from the chat. Jeff Haas says, "Give it a shot." Sees a day says, "Apply." Mister Showtime says, "Do it." Um, Read is real says Josh is a motivational speaker he's got the voice Paula Faust says give it a try um, <laughs> and uh, so th th those are some of the what people are saying okay I'm slightly <laughs> over 18 too Just I know <laughs> but aren't it's a couple wait, of years days, do, you have, do you have a family already yeah I do Jay-Z I can't I can't I know you're over 18 I can't I can't take it anything along those no no passes if you have a family, sir. <laughs> it's we're just talking about work here. <laughs> we're just talking about jobs. We're just talking about somebody in need. And you know, I've been working a long time. I've got a very large network. If you need a job and you're really serious about it, I know that's the thing. Right now, I I, I feel like I'm not. I'm kind of in between. Like I. I think I may want to change my, my career completely. I think I may want to learn a trade, which is why, and I don't mean to seem unappreciative because as soon as no, I'm no, ready no, to no, 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 the it's next fine. level, I will, I'm going to hit you up and I'm, I'm going to be a very serious lady. It's just I'm trying to see if I should to, to change my field or learn a trade. And I may also abandon music. So, I mean, I'm at a, I'm at a very large crossroads of, of shit right now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, um, just, and Steve, I, I hate to sort of take over your, your. No, this is the, I'm glad you called in. We were trying. But, we were trying to put uh, Christina in touch with somebody. But but Christina, if you have any interest in computers at all, I would try I to do. learn something like Salesforce. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of. If you learn Salesforce, all you need is the certifications. If you have them, you'll get hired immediately. Okay. If that's what you again, you gotta want to do it. <laughs> But you can learn it without paying anything. By the way, a couple more comments. Christopher Lund says, "Sounds like you need to explore." Uh, yeah. Retro fans, retro fans says, "Don't abandon music." Zipper says, "Josh is a wise man." Flavor flavoring says, "Find yourself." Lisa Cober, you're getting time. Lisa Cober just got timed out. Um, <laughs> hey, by the way, also, yeah. So, Christina, the other thing is that, like. When, when you, because I have your contact info and I have Josh's contact info, so when you message me, I can give you Josh's contact info, and then you guys can talk more directly. Because it sounds like you know Jay Z knows about something about your field, so or you know about this yeah. this so, you know so he might be a good person to talk to. By the way, I figured out what I, what I should do. Thank you, Jay Z. What I should do is look in your channel. I probably the channel would do a lot better if I just if I converted this channel just to the Steve uh, networks people who need jobs with other people. This will become like no. the YouTube live streaming job networking channel. That's all I'll do. And I'll make billions of dollars because I'll take a cut of everybody's job. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm not really going to do that. But no, no, but but but, but, but I, I appreciate you coming on, Christina, and sharing because people were wondering how you were doing. Um, so Jay-Z, thank you for writing in. What I want to do really quick, I don't think we're going to have time for everybody to answer a question, but I would love to say a 10-second hi to anyone who wants to say hi who's there. Rick Hoppy, do you want to say a 10-second hello, Rick? Let's see. Rick says yes. Really quick. Hi, Rick. How are you? Hey, Rick Hoppy. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Where did Rick go? Where did Rick go? I, I can't see Rick. I asked, I asked to unmute. This is unwieldy. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm here. The, the, there's here. Rick. Hey, look, guys, it's Rick. Yeah, yeah I just want to tell you, Christina, that um, I know what you're going through is hard, and I've been there, and it will change. It will get better. That's Thank excellent you. advice. Yes. Thank you, Rick. We, we, Rick is on the list. We have a bunch of people who we want to actually do a more full discussion with. So, Rick, we will do it in the near future. You'll come on, and you can tell okay. us about your stuff because I that would be awesome thank you Rick so there's Rick um, and then we had um, hold on a second uh, we have a bunch of people there uh, really quick Paul jr. hey it's Polly Polly really quick do you want to say a 10 second hello let's see let's see what Polly says if he says anything hello hello there's Polly hey, Th that's How's it going? that's all oh we're back he disappeared I'm trying to find you Polly there he is. Well, Polly, how I are wish, you tonight? Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks a lot. Hey, uh, I wish you well, Christina. And uh, I'm sure, everything, you know, once you 
figure out what your focus is going to be. I'm sure you'll do well. It's important to find a focus. Uh, so it sounds like you have a couple things in your mind, but that's, you know, that's perfectly all right. You seem like a young lady. Take your time. And uh, once you find your focus, I'm sure you'll do well. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. And yeah, I, I think I'm just in a transition period that, you know, came very suddenly. I was looking to stay at this one job for quite some time. I wasn't expecting any ch any changes, but um, I I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of uh, down and out because um, I don't like going through so much turmoil. I don't like over like turning over a new leaf, at, you know, kind of not at my own hands or at, like when fate is taken from my own sails. I, I feel helpless and down because I do I do my jobs at 110%. I know I'm not a perfect person. I know sometimes I have shortcomings and I know sometimes there's a lot I need to work on and learn. But um, this type of stuff really throws me for a poor loop and I'm trying my best not to get too down and out over it. And thank you. Yeah, yeah sure. Just try to, fo try to focus on the positive things and yeah. I'm sure that more positive things will happen. So just, just keep, just keep, keep focusing on the positive stuff, and you're gonna do well. Okay, I wish you well. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Have a good one, man. Hey, Polly. Thank you. By the way, I, I apologize. Um, to hold on one second here. There's a rude chatter, Steve. Yeah, it's getting taken away. It's getting, it's getting taken care of right now. <laughs> um. So. Uh, so, hey, so by the way, I apologize to Polly and Rick because when I said Polly and Rick, hey, uh, do you guys want to say hi? I didn't mean that like you had to like, you, uh, you could have literally just said like, hey, how are you guys both? I'm just saying hi. Like I didn't mean to put you on the spot with anything. So I was more just like saying anybody who's been sitting up there, if you, I didn't want to put you on the spot like giving advice. That was not the point. So I literally was just saying, do you want to say like, hi, everyone watching? Like that's all. So, anyways, all right, we go, uh, hold on a second here. So we got Christina there, we got Rita, we got Josh. Uh, Chandra, do you literally want to wave hi and say hi to the audience? Let's see what Chandra says. You don't have to. Chandra, I've seen Chandra's picture. Oh, that's, that's Chandra's picture. There's Chandra. I can't tell, Chandra says yes. Chandra, you're there, can you hear me? Hey, everybody. Hey, Chandra, all right. Hey. Woo! All right, Chandra, thank you for helping out. All right, that's that was Chandra. We're going to mute Chandra again. Retro fan, I think it's Dave. Do you want to wave quick hi so everybody can see, hear you? Let's see what Dave says. Retro fan, 42. Retro fan? Hold on. I just, he looks like he's talking. Retro fan, we can hear you now. Hello, everyone. Greetings hey. from Southeast Virginia. All right, thank you, Retro Fan. Hold on, I lost you for a second, Retro Fan. Let me get you back here. Let me get you back. There he is. Thank you, Retro Fan, for helping out. All right, now we're going to mute Retro Fan. <laughs> it's so terrible. It's so cruel. Um, let's see here. We got Tony. Tony, say hi for five seconds. Tony Del Monte. Tony. I can't. Tony, can we hear you? <laughs> I'm looking Tony. for your name. <laughs> no, Tony, I don't hear you. Tony, we see you. Is your mic on? Oh no, Tony, it's all falling apart. Tony, we'll go back to, we'll come back to you. Uh, Shiplu, I'm, I'm unmuting you, Shiplu, make a count. Hello, Shiplu. Where did, Sh where did Shiplu go? There he is. We'll go back, we'll come back to you. Ship, Shiplu, what's going on? I'm on. Hello. Hold, hold on, Tony, you've been muted. We're, we're talking to Shiplu. Hold on, Shiplu, I can't hear you. Shiplu, no one can hear you. Your, your mic isn't working. Oh no, Shiplu, this was your big moment. It's all falling apart. No one can hear Shiplu. Shiplu's really trying. Everybody wants to hear from Shiplu. Oh, no. hold on. Un let, me, let me try unmuting Shiplu. Try this one more time. Shiplu, try again. All right, he's just waving. It doesn't work. Oh, Sh Shiplu, I'm so sad. Maybe next time we do this, it can get figured out. We're, not, we're seeing your mouth. We're not hearing you. Can you hear but me, Steve? Yay! Yeah, we can hear Shiplu. Shiplu, Shiplu, what's going on, man? That's it? That sounds awesome. That sounds good. Shiplu, meet Christina. That's Shiplu. You guys are both on the air with Josh. Shiplu, what, what, where are you uh, calling good, from? Steve, how are you? Good. Where are you, where are you in the world? What's, what's, what state are you in? 
I don't think Shipley can hear me. Shipley, where are uh, you? I'm in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, in St. John's, right, that... in Newfoundland. Very, very cool. Awesome. It, well, I am in Canada. Florida. I don't think you can... Now I think Shiplu can't hear me because I'm saying that's cool. Shiplu, can you hear me now? I think it's cool that you're in Newfoundland. Newfound Newfoundland, as you said. All right. Well, thank you for saying hi. I'm, I'm glad we got Shiplu on. Uh, now, Shiplu, I'm going to go to yeah, another viewer. So... What? Oh, okay. Sorry yeah. about that. All right. He, it was lagging. Yeah. Thank you, Shiplu. I, I hope we hear from you again. All right. That was Shiplu. And uh, we still got Christina there. And then we got John Anderson. John Anderson, do you want to say a quick hello? You're on. I put you on the spot, John. Hello, hello. Hi, John. Where are you at? I'm um, South Central Pennsylvania near, near Maryland. Awesome. Awesome. John, thank you for uh, doing this and helping us out, helping me test this. And I wish you much success, Christina. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, John. All right, that was John in Pennsylvania. Let's see if anybody else is around there. Uh, Erica, Erica, do you want to say something? A quick hello. Eric, hello, Erica. Where are you? Hello, from Tennessee. You're in Tennessee. All right. Where do you want to say roughly where? You don't have to tell me exactly where. Nashville Eastern, area. Western, Nashville area. Awesome. Thank you, Erica, for uh, joining and helping us out. Good seeing you. That was Erica. Uh, Jake from State Farm. Jake, where are you at, Jake? I'm here. Hey, Steve. Hey, Christina. Hi. What's going on? Where, where are you, Jake? I'm actually also in New York, in, in Long Beach on Long Island. Hey, me Nice. Too. Yeah, neighbors. And if you couldn't guess my name, my real name isn't Jake from State Farm. It's actually Matt. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. sorry to ruin that for you. Matt, but, uh, are you married? No, 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 I'm not married. <laughs> Christina, <laughs> Christina, this is a family program. Come on. Christina, that's for, that's for you when you guys talk on Instagram or Twitter. Okay? I have my cat you... over here. Show yeah. If you guys want to talk privately, then 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 uh, Matt Matt can contact you on Instagram or Twitter. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now that I know that he's married, that I'm not going to ask him. No, I'm not. Oh, married. okay. I'm single. I'm single. Okay. She 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 meant to the cat. She doesn't want you to have any I other allegiances. Yeah, that's all I have. All right. So, I wish you the best Christina, of love, Christina. Thank you, thank you, uh, Jake from State Farm slash Matt. Good seeing you. We'll see you in the chat. See you in the chat. All right. Okay. Awesome. We already said hi to Rita. That was great. Uh, Matt Danger, what's going on? Where where are you at, Matt? If he let's see if Matt says anything. Matt Danger, hello, hello, hello. hello. That was great. Matt uh, Danger, Matt Danger, what's going on? Where, uh, where are you at, Matt? Matt, if he, let's see Matt, if Matt. Matt. Steve, I'm in the Matt. great state. Danger. Hello, hello, hello. I'm in the great state of Massachusetts, Matt. Matt uh, uh, oh, you are. Steve. Hold on, Matt. I think I'm. I think we're hearing the background. Steve, I I can you turn me down? Band? You are the man. Best guy on the internet for breaking news. Christina. Oh, you are. Hold on. It's Matt, I think, I'm, I think we're hearing the background. Did you turn me down? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I have you on my. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me mute you here. Okay. There we go. All right. We got Yay. All right, All right so you Matt, you're in, Matt, yeah, Matt, where in Massachusetts are you? Matt, can you hear me? Matt, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. Oh, you can't hear me. It's all good. Okay, so Matt can't hear me because he turned me down, but when Hello. he turns me up... Hello, Matt. Hello, yes. Matt. Matt can't hear me. Uh, uh, Matt, hear Matt's on a delay. Hello, so, Matt... Okay. <laughs> Matt, you're on a delay because you're, you're listening to me. I was wondering where in Massachusetts are you. I can hear you now. Matt's on a delay. So, Matt... Matt, you're on a delay because you're, you're listening to me. I was wondering where in Massachusetts are you? Uh, I'm in Worcester, Massachusetts. Okay, nice. Worcester. 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 Christina, it's Worcester. Uh, all right, Matt, thank you for saying hi. Uh, good seeing you. We'll see you in the chat, Matt. Worcester. Christina, it's Worcester. Uh, all right, Matt, thank you for saying hi. Uh, good seeing you. We'll see you in the chat, Matt. Which exit? Which exit? 91. There was, there, Christina, there was too much of a delay. It was going crazy. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, anybody else? I think we went through, we, we talked to Shiplu. Uh, Tony, we're going to try you again. Tony, uh, can you say something? What? Let's see. Tony, hello. I can think. Hello, Tony. Tony, I hear you, I think. Hey, Tony, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Tony? Tony, Tony, Tony. 
Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, Tony, say a quick hi to everybody who's watching. Hold on. Tony, yeah. See, unmute. Yeah, we're all good, Tony. Just say, say hi That's to true. everybody who's watching. Oh, hold on. Tony disappeared. Where'd Tony go? disappeared. Where'd he go? There he is. Tony, Tony, just say a quick hello to everyone. Hey. Hey, that's great. All right. Thank you, Tony. Tony, you're in Minnesota, I know. Uh, we'll see you back in the chat. That was Tony. Thanks, Tony. And uh, Ruben Urban. Do you want to say a quick hello, Ruben Urban? Hi, Ruben. <laughs> Hold on. Well, where'd he go? Shalom. <laughs> Here, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Ruben, what's going on, man? How's, hey, how's, it, how's it going? I'm glad All to right. see everybody here. Christina, you're awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I miss touching you, man. It's been a long oh. time. I oh. had to call it. I was in the hospital for three months. There he is. How you doing there? How you, how you doing, Ruben, what's, tonight? What's that, how you Christina? doing tonight? Oh, that? go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Christina. I'm so glad. Uh, how are you feeling, Ruben? Are you better? Um, I'm better, but I still have the effects, like shortening the breath and some other symptoms that won't go away. Okay. Yeah. But that's common, I understand, for people that have COVID. Okay. And uh, it's shortness of breath mainly. Yes, and uh, smell, and also sometimes uh, oh, there's another one, but yeah, it's there. Oh no, that's not good. So its sense of taste and smell are still limited. Is it still is it still as if you have a cold? Well, um, like I understand, the doctors say a lot of that stuff will be in there. A nurse from New York City um, had it, and she has the symptoms too. So, oh, okay then. I hope it comes back soon, and I hope that maybe they they'll be doing some research trials on this. So that we can get people who are having this issue, make sure that all their olfactory uh, senses are back to the same capacity before people had uh, exposure to COVID. And uh, I will look out for for you for anything I, I read about it. Because now that you told me that this is a, a symptom, I, I'll put it on my radar. Yeah, like you say, it's like, oh, a lot of tiredness too. And, all the time. And, and, I mean, I, I feel totally yeah. different now than yeah. I did. You know, uh, it's, my life's really totally changed, but that's beside the point. But it's good to see you, and I'll you keep know, my prayers and for you, yeah, for you, okay? It's All right, and, I'm good and, Thank you. And Ru Ruben, as, as Christina said, uh, continued hopes for you to feel better as well. Yeah, I appreciate it, and I'm, I'm looking out for her, too. All right. All right. Thank we'll, you. we'll talk to you soon. All right, that was Ruben. And really quick, Amy, Amy Colligan, do you want to say a quick hello, wave and say hi? There's Amy. Amy, where are you from? Where are you coming, calling, or are you appearing from? I'm actually, I'm from just over near where you are. I'm in Beverly Hills, Florida. Oh, I don't even know where Beverly Hills, Florida is. What, what where, where, where is that near? It's, um, it's like an hour or two hours east, west of you. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So, awesome. Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Uh, Amy, by the way, I should have asked this before. Do you go by a different name in the chat? I do. A Colligan do you Crafts. Want to oh, you're Colligan Crafts. Yeah. It's Colligan Crafts. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I should have been asking everybody this. Uh, uh, so um, so that's Colligan Crafts. There she is. Awesome. Hey, well, good good to Christina, see your face. Christina, you got this, girl. Don't worry about anything. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Colligan Crafts. Yes. All right. That was Colligan Crafts. Uh... And hey, by the way, Shiplu, Shiplu, are you? Do you have a different name in the chat? I'm asking Shiplu something again because I never asked Shiplu. Shiplu, do you have a different name in the chat? Let's see what Shiplu says. Shiplu is watching, but Shiplu's on a delay because in Newfoundland everything is delayed. Shiplu has not heard me yet. No, Steve. Uh, Shiplu, that is my name. Yeah. Okay. No. Awesome. Thank you, Shiplu. That was so. If you see Shiplu Das Shiplu in the chat, my, uh, you know who Shiplu is. Okay, thank you, Shiplu. Hi, Shiplu. Good seeing good... face. I was reading. <laughs> good talking to you again. All right, that was Shiplu. And then uh, let's see. Uh, okay, and is there anybody we do we talk to everybody here? Uh, Ryder's cat is there. So I think we got everybody who's who's actually a human in the picture there. 
Awesome. All right. So guys, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I think at this point we are going to let Christina go and not use up all her gas and have her freeze to death in the car. I love talking but, to you guys. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, Steve. I'm sorry. You didn't I, interrupt. I, it. You didn't interrupt at all. Yes, I did. I've been talking over you. No, you, no, it's fine. Continue. Continue. What were you going to say? I wanted to say thank you guys for having me on. I'm sorry it was not very interesting or beautiful this this appearance, but thank you for letting me have the update. Uh, I'm glad I could add something, and thank you for the good spirit. Oh, you guys have oh, a good spirit, and I think about you all, and I care about you, and um, I'm going as much as I want to quit everything and 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 roll over and die right now. I don't, and I won't, and that's not to tell like a therapist or a police officer it's this figure of speech i'm just kind of sad but um i want to go i want to do the music for steve and for you guys and and you know I, I want um you know everyone to have you know good times ahead because it, it seems like we're going to be in for a long haul and we got to be there for each other and, and thank you and and thank you, Christina. Everybody's pulling for you. And before you, everybody goes, Stan, we forgot you. How could we forget Stan? So the chat reminded me. Stan from Kangaroo Island, Hawaii, wants to say a quick hello. There's the, he's all the way from Kangaroo... Uh, that's Hawaii, Australia. I'm sorry, I, my brain stopped working. Kangaroo, I was thinking Australia, I said Hawaii. Stan from Kangaroo Island, Australia, can you hear us? Can you unmute and speak? There he is. Yes, I can. Hello, everybody. How are oh. you? Yeah, we got Stan. St so Stan, just so everybody knows, you're Kangaroo Island TV in the chat. Yes, I am. Yep, that's my YouTube channel, but my real name is Stan, and I'm from Kangaroo Island. And here I am in Kings Coat, and that's my house behind me there. Oh my gosh! Be beautiful day here in Kangaroo. I just live in suburban Kings Coat, so it just looks like a regular suburb anywhere, really. I guess. Now, Stan, if you can hold on, you know what I think we're going to do? I think we'll have you on the air while I open your package. How does that sound? That sounds excellent. Okay, so Stan's going to hang out. Stan's going to hang out. Uh, I think I'm so, – so, Christina, again, uh, uh, keep your spirits up. Everybody's pulling for you. Uh, hope you can find a job soon and hope as, – as a lot of the uh, people there with you in the chat said, things, things will get better. So, so – uh, hopefully soon but we're all pulling for you good luck christina thank you guys bye stan i hope you have a good day good day to australia we love you bye christina all right bye. so that was christina and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get stan up here and oh there he, there he is but i want to say how do i do this there we go all right there's stan there's stan so hello stan i'm gonna move myself so i could see you better okay there's Stan. Now, also, just a reminder, thank you so much, Christina, for, for, right, for, for coming on the air. And uh, Christina said that her Twitter is, uh, her Instagram is Christina Virus, and her Twitter is Christina Virus, but the I is an L. So on Instagram, she's Christina Virus. On Twitter, she's Christina Virus, but the I is an L. Okay, so Stan, we're going to get to your package. Before we do that, I have to do a quick just make sure there's no crazy news going on right now. I think we're okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think we're good. Okay. I'm so excited to talk to Stan from Australia. This is exciting. All right. So, so, all right, so no, I, Stan, I also have to, I also have to fix the writing on the bottom of the screen because we're no longer talking to Christina. So let me just do this. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll say um, talking live to viewer Stan in Kangaroo Island, Australia. All right. So Stan, it's so cool. We get to see your house. Uh, 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 Aries wants you to show you show everybody a kangaroo. I don't think it works like that, but that's what Aries just said in the YouTube chat. He said, "Show us a kangaroo." Oh, I, hold on a second. I think I have to unmute Stan. I think Stan is muted. Hold on, Stan. I gotta unmute you. I gotta unmute Stan. I think. There we All go. Right. Hey, we can hear yeah. Stan now. Yay. Yeah, I don't have any kangaroos in my yard, sorry. I do have a koala every now and then. 
and I have echidnas and lizards, but no no kangaroos. Terry says, nice to put a face to the name. I'm reading the YouTube comments now. I'm assuming you can't see the YouTube comments, Dan, because you're looking at the Zoom chat. That'd be my yeah, assumption. Yeah, I'm outside in my yard, yes. Yeah, so I'm away okay. from there. Uh, Seize a day says, I hear a dog. Uh, let's see. Edward Kim says, Stan the man. People are very excited to see you in Kangaroo Island. Uh, Polly says, Stan, so great to see you. Uh, hey, Zipper everybody. says, this is, so, this is so cool. Uh, April Coco says, real Australian accent. Yeah, it is. Although I grew up in, uh, I lived in America for eight years, but I kind of lost that accent after a while. Oh, okay. Okay. So what we're going to do, Stan, is if people don't know, Stan basically runs the, you run the paper, the Kangaroo Island newspaper in Kangaroo Island, Australia, right? Yeah, that's right. So we're only a little paper. Um, so there's 4,500 people on the island. Um and it's just me, so we put out we're once a week. Um, we're part of a bigger company that puts out papers across uh, country or regional Australia. And uh, uh, and you and I, I think you just I think in this package is the actual paper where I'm in the in the paper. Yeah, that's right. So. Oh my gosh, was, I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, the article is a bit short. It was longer online because in, in print I have to make everything fit and I have a limit. Oh, limit I'm going to open it up and it's it's going to be right in the corner. It's going to be text only, no picture. It's going to be buried in the classifieds. <laughs> no. Oh, here we go, guys. No, not, here we go. Get not, ready, guys. Then it's going to be like not even in the real paper. It's going to be like in the in the extra version, which nobody gets. Oh, and then, and then that other writer is going to have written it, not you. See, I knew it was going to happen. Uh, all right, Stan, hold on. I need to get my uh, I need to get my scissors. So you're going to be on the screen where I go get my scissors to open your package. But I can still hear you because I have my headphones on. Okay, here we go, guys. This is very exciting. I'm going to open Stan's package once I find my scissors. There's something else Stan. in there for you too as well. So. Oh, my gosh. It's very exciting. All right, guys. We are opening Stan's package from Kangaroo Island. Now, what I'll do is I'll make myself full screen eventually when we open the package so people can see. Ship Lou and Amy are waiting with bated breath. Okay, here we go. I see a newspaper in here, Stan. This is very exciting. So we'll, we'll get the newspaper first. All right, I'm going full screen for a second. So don't go away, Stan. Here I am full screen. Look at what Stan sent. Well, I'm not on the front page. I There's the Islander. It, okay, so Stan, I'm showing I'm showing your paper on the air right now. This is Stan runs this paper, the Islander. This is what Stan does. It's great. We've talked about it before, but I'm gonna find the article. Let's see here. Uh oh, it's okay. not on page. Two, it's not on page two or three, Stan. It's I'm going through. Uh, it's not on page four or five, Stan. I mean, so basically nobody saw it. Basically, nobody saw it. <laughs> I'm already at page five. It's not there. Okay, so nobody. So we know nobody Kangaroo Island saw it. I, it's not. They it's not the, on page six and seven. Paper. No, well, it's not on six or seven. Hey, I mean, it's in the center spread. It's in the center spread. Look at it's the center spread of the paper right there. Hold on. There I am. Oh, this is cool. There it is. I'm showing the viewers right now. See, guys, right in the center spread. There I am. The Islander makes news on YouTube. Yay! All right. Everybody <laughs> loves it in the chat. Like... Okay, awesome. So that's great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read this issue too. I'm gonna save this issue. I'm gonna show. I think I'm gonna show my mom the issue. She'll be very excited. I made the paper. <laughs> She'll be way more excited. I'm in a newspaper than I'm on YouTube. Uh, everybody's saying. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna put Stan back on the screen. Stan. People in the chat are saying, uh, "That's great. How nice. Epic." Um, uh, uh, wow, I come from a land down under. Lucky number page eight. Uh, Castro says, I didn't see it. I'm in Adelaide. So I guess you wouldn't oh, get the go. island yeah, either. We, uh, hopefully increased your uh, viewership here on Kangaroo Island and maybe Adelaide. Yes. Um, you can get the Islander in, uh, in uh, downtown Adelaide in the news oh, nice. There, so. And uh, oh, what time is it there, Emily wants to know. 
Uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Beautiful sunny okay. day. It's just your up. tent. Oh, so oh, sorry. I was just saying it's uh, fall here. Like it's starting to get cold, but not too cold. We don't really get super cold here on Kangaroo Island. So. Okay. You t uh, one of our viewers, your tent or mine says that your paper is very professional looking. It is. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Mike Owen says, is there an online subscription available to the Islander? Where can people find more about your paper online? What's your website? Yeah, so it's the Islander online. If you go there, or just, just Google Kangaroo Island Islander. And at the bottom there, there's a bit there that says subscription. And you can actually subscribe and you get PDF sent out. You know, you actually do the the paper each week um, you do have to I don't think I think it's free but you need to um, sign up with your email address and or just look at the um, look at it on the website every day or whatever or when you, when you want to find out about what's happening on Kangaroo Island um, awesome hmm. I just found your note in here Stan there's a note inside the package it says dear Steve here is the newspaper article featuring the famous Lookner Oh, I, I don't want to read the rest because you say what else it is. I'm going to, I'm going to open the T-shirt now. So Stan, Stan sent me a T-shirt, guys. I'm going to go back to full screen here. Uh, Stan sent me a T-shirt. I don't know what the T-shirt's going to look like. So this is a T-shirt from, uh, from uh, Kangaroo Island, Australia. We're going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to do a reveal on the air where I open up the shirt. Are you ready, guys? This is the shirt that came all the way from halfway around the world. Um, here we go. We're going to reveal it right now. Get ready, guys. Get ready for the shirt. It is. I'm going to show it to you before I see it. It's a koala bear. This is the greatest. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's a kangaroo island shirt. Stan, this is, I'm going to put it on right now. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. There you go. I'm so, I'm so the, happy. In the, in the last stream, you asked for a koala T-shirt, so I went purposely. That was the only koala T-shirt on the island I could find. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Hold on. I need to, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put Stan back on the screen while I walk out and put this on and come back in the screen. Hold on. People love it. They, they, they love it in the chat. They're going crazy. All right, hang on. I'm going to, let me just take my, let me go put this on. Hold on. TV's a little bit behind for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. This is fantastic. Oh, yes. Oh, guys, look at this. Oh, this is the best shirt. This is my favorite shirt. I'm glad you like it, Steve. This is so great, Stan. This is amazing. Um, yeah, people, people are very excited in the chat uh, uh, about the shirt. It's, it's, it fits perfectly. Oh, Emily says, I want one. Where can I get one? Is there a link? Where can, where can people find something like this, Dan? I don't know if you can get it online. It came from the King's Cut gift shop. Um, oh, boy. If you, really, if you really want one, you can uh, reach out on my Twitter or whatever, and I can send you one in the mail. Oh, Stan's Twitter is Stan Gorton on Twitter, right? Hold on. I'm going to show it on. It's... it's, it's at Stan Gorton, right? All one word. I just uh, posted my life story up there, actually, so you can read all about me if you go and read it. My last, my last tweet. So it's at Stan Gorton, right? If I'm getting this yeah. right. right. Hang on a second, Stan. Hang on, Stan. I'm going to see if I can get your Twitter on the screen right now. I got it. Guys, there is Stan's Twitter. on. You can see it on your screen right now. It says, um, oh, he has a YouTube video there, too. Is that your life story, the one? Uh, it should be the last or no. one. Oh, oh here it is. This right here. Human, hu uh, an obituary before I die. <laughs> yeah, that's The story it. <laughs> of my life. Stan posted the story of his life on so that, uh, that Twitter. I was interviewed. There's a local person doing Humans of Kangaroo Island. It kind of came out the bushfires. She's interviewing everybody on the island, getting their life story, and it's going up on Facebook, and she's going to make a book out of it. Anyway, that was my entry, and it just came out last week, I think, or the week before. Oh, very uh, cool. I'll have to read that. By the way, Stan, I figured out what I did is I have your Twitter up, but I have your face on the screen too because it puts you in a small little box, and I can move the box. So this is fantastic. Oh, cool. That's great. 
But now I'm going to put you full screen again. But this, that's that's nice that that worked. How do I get? Let's see. How do I get Stan back to uh, actually showing him? Uh, I now I've done it. Now I've messed everything up. How do I make this bigger? <laughs> let's see. What did I do here? There's that. There's the me. Oh, here it is. I think. Now I've done it, guys. I've managed to I've managed to shrink the zoom zoom to a little box, and I can't get it to go big again. Someone, hold on. Someone in the oh here it is. Is this it? There it is. I got it. I figured it out. Yeah, it stands back. We're back. Okay. All right. So, all right. So Stan. Also, I see. I have my shirt. It's amazing. Um, I have the paper, which is awesome. And then there's something else in here too. Or is it? It's an, Is it another issue of the paper? What is this? Uh, so that's a special publication that we worked on. To do with the book guys. I just included it because it was lying around and um, yeah, put a lot of time and effort into it. So it's just stories okay. about uh, one, one year on from the bushfire, which was really big on the island, and people's stories and how they've recovered. So first of all, I'm going to show the, I'm going to show the viewers. There's the Islander. This is the special out of the embers issue about recovery from the bushfire. Uh, you can see that. That's really cool. It has a glossy cover on it. Um, I'm going to have to check through that. That looks interesting. Very nice. Community remembers the firestorm. This is all Stan's, Stan's work. Stan and his staff. Awesome. Thank you, Stan, for sending that. That looks great. And then I got your King's Coat gift shop kangaroo island bag. This is amazing. This is the <laughs> gift shop where the T-shirt where the, where the came from. Yeah, there you right go. There. Yeah, you can see that's so awesome. That's what, hey, if you want a T-shirt, con, con, you have to come there and go to King's Coat Gift Shop. You're saying? <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Oh, this is so great. Hold on, I just want to see what people are saying in the chat. Uh, I'm sure people are asking you things in the chat. Um, if if anybody has questions for Stan in Kangaroo Island, now's your big chance to ask them. Or you can also message him on Twitter at Stan Gorton. Let's see here. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Matt Danger says koala bears are so cute. A lot of people are big fans of koala bears. Hold on. It, it, takes, it takes a second for people when they hear me to post in the chat. So anybody, uh, is Kangaroo Island big? Ben wants to know how big Kangaroo Island is. Uh, yeah, so it is quite big. It's 150 kilometers across, which I guess is what, like in miles, uh, 70 miles, uh, something like that. Anyway, yeah, it's, it is big. It, it's... um. It, 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 it's it's a long skinny shape so it takes pretty much all day to not all day to drive across but it takes if you want to see either side of it you need to come for a few days basically because you'll be driving around forever to see things so um, but we only have 4,500 people which is great that's what I like best about it that's really cool I'm actually going to show people on the screen where Kangaroo Island is exactly I can show it in Google Maps here here, guys, I'm showing you Kangaroo Island on the screen. So you can see it's, at, it's pretty close to Adelaide. There's Australia, it's South Australia. It's ten, is it technically in South Australia, Stan? Yeah, we are part, we are part of South Australia. And yeah, Adelaide's okay. not too far away. Like, it's only 45 minutes in the plane. OK, uh, there it but is. You need, to catch a, you need to catch the ferry. If you're going to the mainland, you catch the ferry. Um, and that's a 45 minute trip across the water. And then another couple of hours driving, and you're in Adelaide. Awesome, cool. Now they know. Uh, Castro, who's in Adelaide, says it's a beautiful mm -hmm. island. Um, oops, hold on a second. I got to show you again. Says it's a beautiful island. I have friends there. Um, Stan, uh, Cheryl Simpson says, Stan, what plants do you have in your backyard? Um, so I've got a real mixture. I live right here in town, but I, it's quite a big block. It's half an acre. Um, so that's a mallee tree, which is a kind of a eucalyptus. Um, and then I wow. have really big eucalyptus trees up the back. Um, that's my boat anyway. Uh, and so that's koala comes and visits every now and then in those eucalyptus trees. Um, I've also wow. planted a bunch of fruit trees. That's a loquat. And I've planted guava trees and lemon tree and all that kind of things as well. And is your dog, uh, uh, that's really cool. Uh, I love that you have a koala that comes visit. Is 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 your is your dog a border collie? Manzanita thinks it's a border collie. Yeah, this is Twiggy. She's a, she's a she's actually a coolie collie. Twig. Ooh. See, see, speak, speak. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she's great. Yeah. She's great. 
Awesome. Yeah, people were wondering about the dog. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, people, people love your place. They're saying you, you can read the chat after if you want, but a lot of people are commenting yeah, I'll go on back, your place. I'll go back and watch it and read the chat. Awesome, awesome, very cool, very cool. Well, this is so cool. I love it. I'd love to come visit there one day. It looks like an awesome place. It looks great. Yeah, it's it's a lovely place. There's still all the uh, quarantine at the moment, so right. Well, uh, I ain't going anywhere in time. Uh, uh, post pandemic is when I'm going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere yeah. anytime soon. But uh, yeah. Sounds it sounds great. Uh, Avi Avi Moore says, "What a great place you have there." Yeah, and uh, Darren and Darren Markley loves your voice. <laughs> Everybody you loves your much. voice. Awesome, Stan. I'm so glad you were able to get on. Uh, this was not the intention. I'm so glad this worked out. This worked out so fantastically well. I can't believe it. This is yeah, so cool. Yeah, I was cool. going to suggest you do a live stream um, and uh, I could take you down the main street of King's Code or whatever. I'm happy to do that give you a little bit of a We should do of... that sometime. We, I would yeah, love to I do can... that sometime. Because there's some beautiful spots and, um, you know, to show you the water and the, and the old part of the town with all the old buildings and things. So, yeah, we can do that. People would love it. That's really, that's really cool. Now that we can do it this way on Zoom, that would be fantastic because I can just show what you're showing on your, like, yeah. what, what you're shooting on your phone. That's great. Yeah, this opens up a lot of possibilities. So that's really cool. We will definitely, we'll talk on Twitter and we'll figure out a time to do it. Sounds awesome. Good. Well, thank you, Stan. Everybody's saying hi to you and uh, they're so glad that you got on the air. So thank you for, and thank you for the shirt. This is going to be the gift that keeps on giving. And, and, and <laughs> thanks for putting me in the paper. I'm so excited with all the things you sent and this paper. No I'm going to show my mom. I'm going to, I really I think I'm, what I'm going to do. I, I'm supposed to go back and see my mom in two weeks. I think I'm going to put the paper in the luggage. I'm actually going to literally show her the paper. She'll love that I'm in a newspaper. So I'll bring it back with get, me. Get, get a photo Get a photo for me and I'll put it in the paper again. Oh, with me and my mom? Oh, I should do that. Yeah. She'll she'll get a kick out of that. I will. I will. <laughs> All right. So uh, Stan, uh, we're, Stan, we're signing off from Stan. So thank you, Stan. And uh, okay, thank you, everybody. You TV now. Yes, you can go. All right. Thanks, Stan. That was Stan. And then everybody else in the chat, we had Tony there and Rick and Chandra, John Anderson, Erica, Christian's iPhone, John, uh, John Anderson there, Joanne Gabrielle sees a day. A few people were still in that chat there. Uh, Amy Colligan Crafts, Shiplu Daz. Hey, all of you guys, thanks so much for, for helping out. I'm not ending the stream yet, but I'm ending the Zoom. I'm going to end the Zoom right now. So, and there's the dog right there. Oh, so cute. So, all you Zoom participants, thank you for participating. And I'm going to end the Zoom. I'm ending the Zoom now, but not this live stream. So here we go. The Zoom is ending now. Stan is waving goodbye. End meeting for all. There we go. That was fun. See, it worked. It actually worked. How about that? I can't believe it. It actually worked. It really worked. That was cool. Uh, let's see here. Whew. Wasn't that nice? That was fun. We got to meet all the different viewers. Seize the day says, I'm tired. We got to meet the different viewers. See, now there's Colgan Crafts, there's Polly. A lot of the people we just saw are in the chat. We got to talk to, we got to catch up with Christina. But see, see, the thing is, the nice thing is with Zoom, see, now I don't have to do it through my iPad. Now I can just, we can talk to somebody on Zoom. Um, you know. That was great. That was really good. We actually do, some people were talking about the Patreon chat. I never talk about Patreon, but uh, for the Patreon supporters, we do a once a month Zoom chat. I actually have to do the next one soon, where we all get on in video and we just talk to each other. So if anybody's ever interested in that, it's, it's, if, you, if, you, if you support for $10 a month on Patreon, you get to go to the Zoom chat. So I'll, actually, I'll post a link to the Patreon. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it just some some people uh, we have a good time doing it, um, and uh, but a lot of people I never mention it, so people don't even know about it. So yeah, here here's I'll post the Patreon and I'll post the link. You can look at it on your own time. I just posted the link in the chat. Um, anyways, but but I appreciate all you guys, the people who came into the stream, because it actually helped was helpful for me to uh be able to test the techno uh, technology i've been meaning to do that for like a month and a half on my own time and i just been i just forgot to do it so the nice thing is like if i'm on agenda free tv in theory if i'm on agenda free tv and we want to interview somebody 
that gives us another option because uh, we could do a Zoom and I could show their Zoom rather than having them call in and you know put the phone up to the mic. Although if you have to, putting the phone up is fine. Oh, thank you, Hetty, for signing up for Patreon. By the way, I owe a thank you to, um, to uh, Seize the Day. Thanks for your support, Seize the Day, who said, Josh, this is for you. Good guy, no innuendos. So thank you, Seize the Day. Thank you also, Tony Del Monte. Tony, I'm glad you actually made it into the chat. Thank you, Tony, for your support. Oh, and Polly. Polly says, post-pandemic LookNerCon in Kangaroo Island. Goals. I would, I would love to go to Kangaroo Island. That would be really fun. That would be really fun. And now we know Stan. But we should do a live stream where Stan takes us through Kangaroo Island. That'd be a good, that'd be a fun stream. I would, I would do that stream where Stan walks us through. Oh, Tony says, was good to test but could not say anything. Tony, we heard you. Tony, we actually heard you. The last time I talked to you, we heard you. You go, go, Tony, rewind, you'll see. We actually did hear you briefly the third time. Thank you, Tony. Uh, but I got my, I got my Kangaroo Island shirt. This is so great. That was super cool. And it was good seeing everybody else there, too. That was just an accident. That, that was completely unplanned. Uh, uh, Christina, what happened is Christina actually, Christina popped into the chat and I just said, oh, wait, I should probably, we should talk to Christina because people were asking her questions. And I said, well, why don't we try the Zoom thing? So a big thanks to Christina because Christina was the one who got on there. And I, I got to apologize to Christina because because I didn't like, I was trying to, I, 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 I was trying to talk to her, and at the same time, I was trying to manage all of this stuff. So I probably wasn't the best conversationalist with her, but I was just trying to kind of keep everything going. Oh, thank you, Julie Huff. Julie Huff liked the broadcast. I appreciate that, Julie Huff. Thank you. Thank you, Julie Huff. That's very kind of you. Aries Pure liked it, too. Oh, Tony said, we, tomorrow is my 44th year of music. Can we try Thursday night? Tony, uh, I don't know, like, I, I have to, I don't know how the scheduling is going to be. So usually with the interviews, it kind of just comes up uh, because of just the nature of everything. So we'll have to, Tony, thank you. We'll just have to see. Uh, we, we will interview you. You're on the list. Um, but I can't promise a certain time. I, I can't do that with any of the interviews. They kind of just happen when there's not news and it just works out that way. So maybe it'll work out, but I, I, I can't I cannot promise specific times with, with the with the interview stuff. We'll get we will get there though. Definitely. So thank you, Tony. Forty fourth year in music. Brandon says, thanks for the interaction with your audience. Well, it's good to see everybody. It's fun to see everybody. Uh, let's see here. Oh, thank you, Matt Danger. Matt Danger says, great to put names to faces. Yeah, we got to see Matt Danger. See, Stan came back in the stream. Stan's Kangaroo Island. Thanks, guys. Come to Kangaroo Island. We'd love to do a live stream from there. See, then pe you see the people post in the chat. But it's, it's good with the, it, it, the Zoom makes it easier. Because with the Zoom, you can actually see and hear the person much better. And then I don't have to hold up the, it's easier for me. And then I can also like show stuff during the, during the, um, during the call. Seize the day says, imagine if I cited, did live stream inside my COVID unit at work. It would help get people max masking and vaccine. <laughs> Probably lose your job. But that was cool. But it's it's good to it's good to know the technology works. That's 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 helpful. That is that's very helpful. Tommy Wilson, Tommy's getting timed out. Tommy's getting timed out. Tommy's not following the rules. Tommy is not following the rules. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Tony. Tony, that's very nice of you. Tony said he recorded eight cover songs today. 76 are recorded. We'll be doing many more in coming days. Voices in top form. Yeah, Tony has a YouTube channel where he, where he does songs. It's just called his name. You can check out Tony Del Monte's YouTube channel. See, it's literally there. That's Tony's YouTube channel. There's Tony. You saw him before. So you can check, his, you can check out his channel and his songs on YouTube. That's exciting, Tony. Thank you, Tony. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your support. Thanks so much, Tony. Oh, seize the day said people who people were talking in the chat to Christina, like literally chatting with her. Because the thing you couldn't see in Zoom, there's also a text chat. And the, the Zoom text chat messages were off the screen, but people were also talking to each other in the Zoom. That was fun though. Oh Shiplu. Hey look, it's it's Shiplu. Shiplu is on Shiplu is in our chat. Shiplu does. He says Koala sleeps twenty two hours a day. See, now we know who Shiplu is too. I remember Shiplu from the chat in Newfoundland. It's so fun to see the people from the from the uh, from the Zoom and they're in the chat. Yeah, tube seller says thank the mods. I, I do appreciate it. Thank you mods. Sarah Joy and uh, Mark Helton. Angel Shark, Linda Belk. Rube, we got to see Ruben Urban. Ruben Urban was there. I think we, I think Erica might have been there. I can't remember. I, we saw some people by first name, so I, I don't remember exactly who was there. But that was good. Paula says Zoom is an awesome program. I use it for different things like church board meetings. The, the, the key is, though, the key is that I got to have, you have to have some kind of you have to have headphones it won't work if i don't have headphones because if i don't have headphones then i have to listen to you through my external speakers and it'll mess all the sound up that is the big thing it only works if you can listen through headphones so thank you again rick hoppy told me to look at the settings when i looked in the settings i changed this an audio setting and that allowed me to hear through the headphones because otherwise it won't work erica was there okay erica was in the uh, chat Okay. All right. Guys, oh, Christopher Lund says, I'm just jealous of the shirt. I ain't going to lie. Christopher Lund, well, I, I'm sure if you call Christopher King's Coat Gift Shop, give them a shout at the King's Coat Gift Shop. Uh, or, you can, or you can reach out to Stan, right? Do one of those two things. Stan's on, Stan is at um, Stan, Stan Gordon on Twitter. He said reach out to him about a shirt, Chris. Yeah, there he is. There's Stan. But you can also check out the King's Code gift shop. Yeah, they have a... a, a, a Zipper said they have a Facebook page. Look, King's Code gift shop on Facebook. You can message them on Facebook. Uh, Edward, I think this is my first T-shirt from Australia. Yes. The Islander has a Facebook page, too. Where is it? Where is it here? Why doesn't it come up, the Islander? I think that's it. That's King's Coat. That's the Islander King's Coat. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's right. The Islander is the local weekly newspaper for Kangaroo Island. There it is. That's it. That is the uh, that's the Facebook page for the Islander. Okay.
Hang on a second here. Uh... Tony, did I miss a super chat? Oh, I think that was accidental, Tony. I think there was a super chat yesterday that was accidentally moderated. I appreciate that, Tony, during the um, second vaccine shot stream. That's what I think happened. So thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. It looks like your, your chat might have been accidentally moderated. Maybe by YouTube itself. So I don't know what happened there. It looks like it was a mess up. But thank, thank you also. Um, thank you, Tony. T uh, yes, it was. Yeah, so Tony, thank you for letting me know. So uh, thank you for that super chat last night, Tony. Very much appreciated. Thank you. That's okay. Th mistakes happen. That's okay. Oh, uh, thank you also. Rick Hoppy. I, I didn't even see Rick. Rick was sending me message messages uh, about Zoom. In, in my on my on my uh, DMs. Thank you, Rick, for the Zoom help. Good seeing Rick there. Okay. Yeah, I I think it was a mistake of some sort, Tony. But that usually doesn't happen, fortunately. Sonic liked when the algorithm was broken and they would send thousands of people to the broadcast. Shiplu says, I found your stream last year when you were covering the snowstorm in Newfoundland. Oh, wow. I've been following your stream since then. Very cool. I don't know how to pronounce Newfoundland. I say Newfoundland, but, but Wikipedia says... Uh, new... Fund Newfoundland, Newfoundland, or New Newfoundland, either Newfoundland or Newfoundland. There's there's a, on Wikipedia. There's lots of different pronunciations for New Newfoundland. Uh, Sean B says Newfoundland. Cheryl likes Newfoundland. Okay. Oh, Christina says, thanks for having me on. I'm going to Boston in a couple weeks. There's Christina. Good to see you, Christina. People find the streams in random ways. Seize a day. We'll say it on the next Patreon. Awesome. Christina, I'm not, I'm not meeting anyone <laughs> at, at the moment. I'm keeping it very, uh, it's still pandemic time, although I am seeing my mom. <laughs> okay, guys, what time is it? It's almost midnight. It's an action-packed action stream. Action-packed stream. All right, guys. I, I I don't know what else I can do on this stream that's already hasn't been done. I think I think we've we've accomplished everything we could have hoped for on this live stream. We've accomplished everything we hoped for. So I think I, I think we're gonna wrap it wrap this up. I think we're gonna wrap up this live stream. But this has been this has been great. This has been really fun. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to all of you. Stack says he packed the stream full of love. But this was a fun one. Thanks to you guys. I'm glad I'm glad we used the uh, we used the Zoom. But a big thanks to our moderators too, you know, Ruben Urban and uh, Linda Belk, Sarah Joy, Angel Shark, Mark Helton. Oh, Sonic, thanks for the summary. Sonic says thanks to even mods, chatters, donors, guests, shot soreness update, Sharon update. 
Um, oh, Sharon Hebberling popped in the chat too. I didn't even see because I was so busy. I see, sorry, briefly. I hope Sharon is feeling better. But I, I, I'm guessing some of you saw Sharon in the chat. Um, summer heat soon. You see, yes. Thawed chicken vac sticker. Zoom tacular with guests Christina and Stan. Awesome. Hey, thank you, Sonic, and thanks for the summary too, Sonic. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, John A and Petey. John A and Petey, I'm so glad you like the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John A and Petey. And thanks to you guys. I'm glad you had fun. Uh, thanks to everybody also who joined the Zoom and helped me test the Zoom out. And a special thanks, of course, to Christina and Stan. Huge thanks to them for coming on and talking and uh, good times. And all my gear. Oh, Jake from State Farm. See, we saw Jake from State Farm too. Uh, Ryder, Camille, Pug Mama, Meaningful Acronym, Christina, Jay-Z. Thanks for the advice, Jay-Z. Rob Van Roy from the Netherlands is there. All right. UA grad, all the lurkers too. Everybody, all the lurkers. Thanks to them. Thanks to the people who reminded me. I, I we did. It. Stan was in the Stan was in the chat. It said Stan from Can, and I thought it was Stan from Kansas. But I, I meant to say hi to him, and then I realized that's Stan from Kangaroo Island. Uh, Sean B Art, your tent or mine? Joanne Gabrielle, Terry. I have to check how the levels were. It looked like the levels of the people talking on Zoom were maybe below me, but I had no way to... I, I had the Zoom turned up as loud as it, as it could go, I thought. I'll have to check that again next time. Aries, pure Kimberly Barr sees the day. Yeah, she says, move the shoes and it'll be a perfect stream. No, the shoes are staying. Michelle Ryan, Jen Madison, Castro, Sean B. Art, Melissa McQueen. Zipper, Edward Kim, Cindy Lou Roach, Honey Herzo, Ben Huffdetler, Cheryl Sipson. Oh, Lizzie was moderating too. I don't know if I caught Lizzie before. Julie Goring, Fat Vegan is late. Well, what can I do? You'll have to, um, you'll have to uh, rewind. Oh, thank you, Hetty Silovitz, for the support on Patreon. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I don't know. I'll show this again next time. One of our viewers painted a por Becky Lindsay painted a portrait of me. Oh, wait, what's going on here? One of our viewers, Becky Lindsay, painted a portrait of me. I think it's really cool. I'll, I'll show. I don't even know if she's watching. I'll show it next time. But just just to show it this time, let me show you the picture. This is the portrait painted of me by Becky Lindsay. Look at that. She sent me it. I think it's really cool. That's the that's the painting that Becky Lindsay did. She's a she's a longtime viewer, she says. So thank you, Becky. I love it. <laughs> I'll show it again next time. Just remi remind me next time to show it. Cause uh, she might have not been watching. It's so late. Yeah, a lot of people like it in the chat. Sean B. Art says, nice, excellent art. Jen Medicine says, good job, Becky. Tommy Wilson, it's okay. Lynn Halifax says, if you are from the Atlantic provinces, we pronounce Newfoundland, New Finland, and say it best. Say it fast. Or Newfoundland. Arizona Jumper, thanks for watching. All right, guys, I am wrapping up. This has been quite the stream. It's been so fun uh, hanging out with you. Great job. Thank all you guys for helping out with the stream. Good times. Good times here. I'm going to go look at my shirt. I'm going to go stare in the mirror at my shirt. Oh, and if you want to mail me anything, try to keep it small and consumable or a koala shirt. Uh, there's the address for the UPS box. We'll post it too. 
Oh, and thanks everybody who donated. That's really nice of you guys. I really appreciate the donations. That's what allows me to do this. So you guys, your support does it. So, so, so I do very much appreciate that. Thank you guys. Thank you. Chris says, I'm putting it on pause and sharing at your shirt. I, Chris, I think if you, if you, if you, uh, if you use a little ingenuity, I think you can, you can get one of these things. I think you can get one. I'm confident you can make it work. All right. All right, guys, we're wrapping this up. Edward Kim, thanks to, uh, thank you so much for, for joining the stream. It's been a good stream. I'm, and I'm glad we now have that, uh, we know how to use Zoom. Aries, you're, Aries, you're getting timed out. Aries, you've said the same thing three times in the chat. Aries, you're, 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 you're a long-time viewer, Aries. You know the rules, and yet you said the same comment at least three times. Come on, Aries. you got to do better. <laughs> All right, Honey Herzo. Thank you, Honey Herzo. I love this shirt. Left-handed, thanks for watching. All right, guys, we are wrapping this up. Thank you so much for joining our live stream. You know we're going to be doing more streams soon. If there's big news, we'll be back on the air, Gender Free TV. So thank you, our mods. Thank you to the chatters. Thank you to the viewers. Thank you to the lurkers. Thank you so much to everybody who did the Zoom. Special thanks to Stan and Christina. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Tessa, thank you for watching as well. RV Cruzen was there on the Zoom. Thank you, RV Cruzen, for watching. Okay, Ron, Ron, everybody else. That's it. That's it. All right, guys. That is it. Thank you for watching. And uh, we will do this again very, very soon. Have a good one.